Oh, you know what I want to do? Yes. We, do we don't have to do it right now. Yeah. We'll cut this part out. Yeah. But um, you know how on YouTube they have now a section where you can do like an intro video? Oh, okay. So I was thinking we should record just a short, you know, little intro video of yeah. who we are, what we are. Yeah, and then okay. that way it's there. Okay. But, so okay. maybe we'll do it after we do this. Okay. Because right now we're not really... Okay. Are you copying Michael, like his little intro music and stuff? Or? Oh, should I put the banjos on? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, wow, he's getting pretty professional, you know? He's like... I'll be learning from him <laughs> uh, what to do. Stepping it yeah, up. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I mean, I guess we could kind of do a little intro. We could. And then just, do you, I mean, but you don't know what I'm talking about. No, I mean, I, I'm just, what, like say our name? I mean, you stuff? know what an intro yeah. is. <laughs> I hope so. I don't know. Hi, we're the Naughty Netwits. That kind of thing. Okay. Like, it's a thing where you're introducing your your video. I think we need to do that. Well, we not for every episode, but okay. like you put it on your channel. And then, okay, so you guys are just going to be part of this. Okay. That this way people, thought process. people, yes, exactly. You no longer see us moving the camera around. Okay. But now you get to hear all the stuff that's going in our head. Okay. No, I'm saying. Okay. That. No, don't. Different topic. Okay, okay, different topic. So, no, the intro video would be yeah. like, we'd say like, hi, we're the Naughty Nitwits. This okay. is a podcast about mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it'd just be a short little thing. Yeah, yeah. But you think that's necessary? Okay, okay yeah. Well, yeah, what tell me say. why. Tell me why. <laughs> For people that don't already watch us, okay. that are like checking out new okay. ones, then instead of like going, I don't know, they look kind of weird, or that's a really long video, I don't want to look at them that long or yeah. whatever yeah. they think. Yeah. Uh, then they could just watch this little intro thing and then they would fall madly in love with us and, and realize how wow. charming we are. Okay. And <laughs> I might have a little wow. high expectations so. for this intro video. So. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. if you would like to do that, we could do that. I think we could try. Okay, we could try. And just see what happens. Okay. Yeah, sure. But we'll Why try not? maybe after. Okay. 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 We'll go ahead and get on with this yes. recording. Well, because we did get one comment that we don't talk enough about knitting. I saw that. <laughs> I laughed. I was like. I laughed. I was like, well, no kidding. We <laughs> I mean. There's more to life nothing, than knitting. Nothing's changed. I mean, it's always been that way. So for those of you that feel like we don't talk enough about knitting, maybe right. the intro, Maybe the intro would be good so they know there is some knitting somewhere in this video. <laughs> Just stay tuned. It will yeah, come. It, not as much as we'd all like. I yeah. would like to have more knitting yeah, talk yeah, in yeah. my life. Okay. But I get distracted. Yes. And we can't help that. That's right. So, yeah. 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 Anyway, so we'll just dive into our normal episode. Okay. Okay. And then maybe when we're done, we'll forget. Okay. But maybe when we're done, yes. we'll do a little thing that then could be there. Okay. So All the time, every all the, time? Every time. No, wow. no, 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 no. People don't have to watch it every time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of to get away from doing that thing where you introduce yourself and Which you we don't about, do right exactly <laughs> that's what I'm saying is then it would be there okay and it would okay. be all the stuff okay okay and then people that, that so they watch, could choose to watch that first is it, that what you're saying yes like if it was a new viewer okay so like people that watch us regularly yes. and already know right about us right they wouldn't right. have to watch it okay so it's yes. just like an extra it's video a standalone okay. like just gotcha. little okay because I was there. like yes because I was like if it's going to be at the beginning of every episode like no. I'd get sick of seeing oh, that too. Okay. That's, that's okay. why we don't introduce ourselves. Thank you. Okay. For those of you that yes. watch us, yes. you don't need to hear us say who we are all yeah. the time. Yeah. If you don't know who we are by right now. Then. Yeah. But if you're new and you haven't watched us before, yes. it would be good if there was this little thing yes. that could okay. be like. Gotcha. I understand that now. I was just thinking if it was before every oh, episode. Oh, no. I'm totally to against that. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Okay. We've figured something out. We've made out. a decision. <laughs> This is how we We're on the same page things now. out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, um, you know, just to make everyone happy, <laughs> have you been knitting? I have um, on one project. Okay. Uh, because I am test knitting for Amy, which it's funny. I messaged her this morning and called her Molly. I'm like, I don't know why I called you Molly. I just woke up. Well, maybe because you did test knit for Molly before. No, I don't think I... Oh, Molly Klein. Yeah, yes, I, did, I was thinking yeah. of Molly of a Homespun House. And I was... No. I, I don't know. I was like, what the heck am I thinking? Excuse me. I know, because Molly and Amy aren't even close. I know. Okay. I know. But Amy likes the name Molly, so she was okay oh, with perfect. it. But I was like, I'm sorry I just called you Molly. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, I'm test knitting for her. And so this pattern hasn't been released yet, but it's called the Whitmore. And she said, Gabe told me I could talk about it on the podcast. So it's a beautiful 
sweater. I mean, you did talk about it last time. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to make you sure that I could show. You hadn't got the yarn yet. Yes. And then you went and got that weird yarn. Yes. In fact, I should get that because I wanted to show people that I don't love all of wool folk. I've come to that conclusion. Was, that's right, because when I left here last yes. time, I was going to see Renata. Yes. And then we talked briefly about maybe meeting up at Starlight, yes. and I was so tempted because I, I haven't been in forever. I know. So I ended up buying some yarn there. It's their boucle. I don't know what you'd call it. Is that what it's called? Well, boucle is the curly yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's like curly stuff. And I don't know why I thought that that would be good yarn for this project. I don't know either. I know. Like, I honestly, <laughs> like, I look at the pattern. I'm like, what the hell what were, were you thinking? thinking? <laughs> Did you, I mean, this is kind of. Yes, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, this I bought. It was funny. I bought it at Nordstrom Rack, and I vacillated about buying it because I was like, is it stupid? Is it ugly? So no, I texted I like a picture it. to my daughter, and she didn't respond. And oh. so I asked the lady at Nordstrom. I was like, is this ugly? Like, am I stupid? And she was like, no, I love it. I think it's great. Of course, you know, she works yeah, there. Sure. So, of course. Although they're not on commission. No, no right? that's true. I don't know. Anymore. So I bought it, and then later my daughter sent me a picture of some high fashion thing, you know, that this is, you know, what this is totally in. So I was like, yeah. okay, I guess it's, I already, awesome. I'd already bought it. So I yeah. didn't have a choice, but no, yeah, I it's like kind of it. weird, but it's but very no, it, warm. It made me think of like a specialty yarn. Yes. Like, you know. Yes. Well, and it's funny because there's so much lace up here that if I would have used that yarn, like it would have been, been lost, lost, completely lost. And then when I cast, cause I did cast on with it, it was so hard to see the stitches and get oh. in them because there was like oh. no stretch to the yarn oh. at all. No give. So I was like, I was so fed up. I was did like, you go dig it out of the garbage or what? dig one out of the garbage. The yarn. The yarn, no, I just completely undid it. And I thought, you know, I don't even know what project this would be good for. Yeah. I have two skeins of it. Luckily, I didn't buy the whole I'm lot. I'm so glad. Um, but I just left it in my yarn area. And I'll just use it Well, I think you'll have to get else. it. Because I'm going to show something <clears throat> I don't like. OK, good. Yeah. But I, I will show you the yarn I did buy, which yeah. I absolutely am in love awesome. with. So Show your bag again. I just yes, love it. I know. It's absolutely gorgeous. I wish I'd bought one, but it's I'm glad so I didn't because I bought something else. It's so pretty. It's love it. so sparkly. It's, it's my favorite. Right I know now. that color. It just like It's perfect. It it's is. perfect. So I ended up buying Andorra. Um, it's Kelborn Woolens. Um, Never heard of 60% that. merino wool, 20% highland wool, and then 20% mohair. Because in her pattern, she calls for either a DK weight yarn held alone or you can do a fingering weight with lace weight mohair okay, and i just was like i want just a single yarn i don't mm -hmm. want to have to mess with i'm just kind of i'm not mohaired out i absolutely still adore it mm -hmm. but i just have had so many patterns lately with mohair with, especially with stranded doubles, yeah and i'm just like i just want a pattern where there's just mm -hmm. one thing so i don't blame you anyway this stuff is super nice and i i had gone to where did i buy it at Oh, you didn't get it at Starlight? No, I got it at Wool. Oh. Ooh, where's that place called? Um, it's not really local to us. I mean, it took me a while to get there. Northwest Wools. Oh. So. Gosh, I haven't been there in years. I know, yeah. I know. They're super nice and very helpful. And I just went in there and I was like, look, I'm knitting the sweater. I need DK weight, but I don't want to spend like $300, you know. I just <laughs> want to like, yeah. I want nice yarn, but I don't want, yeah. So this stuff was like twelve twenty five a skein. So it's still going to be... Expensive. I'm glad you're showing the label because yes. that was some constructive. Oh, good, yeah, good, someone good. asked. Wow, us everybody's good... got criticism. That's funny. no, it's helpful input. <laughs> helpful input. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, I mean those are the kind of things I appreciate. When okay. Tell okay. Us. Um, but anyway, I love that it's it's. Um, I, it's funny, I've never knit with white yarn before, and I didn't know if I'd like it. I was afraid I'd get really bored with it. Yeah. But when I saw Amy's, I was like, it's oh, so pretty and yeah. elegant. She gives you two options for sleeves. You can either do the, I think they're called bishop sleeves, which is what I'm doing, which are the really the poofy. poofy big ones, which each um, sleeve takes almost a full skein of yarn. Wow. So it's crazy. Wow. But each skein oh. is only 185 yards. So okay. it's so, still yeah. going to be an expensive, I, I think I'm on skein five, four or five, and then I have th two left. So I'm hoping I've got one sleeve done Oh, and see what I did was, this is the first time I've done this, which I'm going to do this from now on. Okay. It's not a halter top, <laughs> say, but I decided to do the lace and then move on to the sleeves because I hate turning all yes. the time. And then I'll come back to this and finish Great the length. Idea. So I've got one sleeve done and they're really long. They're supposed Sorry. to be long and then poofy. And then I'm now on the, whoops, the second sleeve, which I'm almost almost down to where I decrease and then do the cuff. I really so, love this It's beautiful. Look. It's beautiful. And it's soft too. Like it's, 
It's a merino, but it's, and a whatever it else it is, but it's that um, mohair too. Yeah. So I love that it still gives the little, because I wanted some halo, since I wasn't using the, the mohair with the fingering. And so I feel like this is a good, a good um, compromise yeah. or whatever. But it's DK weight. I love that you're getting the sleeves done before yes. the rest of the sweater. Yes. That's such a good idea. I am too, because I was like, the thought of having to continually turn this all the time, it was yeah. just like kind of annoying. So, but I will That's say fun. I did start knitting it Let's and then, it on. yeah. <laughs> And then I was off on oh. the pattern, so I had to rip it all out oh, no. up to up to here oh, and start over. Because with lace, I'm and she did tell you where to put stitch markers. Like she was very good at that in the pattern, so I appreciate that. Because um, I am one of those daredevils that probably wouldn't have done the stitch markers. So I'm glad I I'm glad I listened to what she said. Um, I don't know where I screwed up. I think it was, you know, when you're test knitting, you're supposed to like count everything right. and like check things. Well, I was having so much fun it's that I wasn't fun. even counting things. So yeah. when I was talking to Amy about it, she was like, well, was your stitch count correct? I'm like, I don't know. I'm not a good <laughs> test knitter. So this time when I did it. Is that I, the purpose of a test knit? Well, I think so. I think so. You're supposed to like check things, you know. Oh. So I, the, when I ripped it out and started over I really made sure I counted everything made sure that each time I did the repeat of a laced whatever that it was correct so anyway really I love it I think it's gonna block out really nice and uh anyway I think she's hoping to release it in February I think so pretty cool. soon so yeah. nice. but it's been fun I've it's I've never tested it on something where everybody is communicating with each other you know yeah have you ever done that no, I haven't done a lot of test notes. Yeah, I mean, well, I haven't either. But <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. The few Just that the I tried of communicating to do. with yeah. people about stuff. Is but new. Amy has like um, an Instagram. Um, not a hashtag, just messaging, you know, yeah. through it. And so everybody's like messaging and showing pictures and talking really? and I'm like, like a group. Yeah, a group. A yeah. group on Instagram. Yes. 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 Where everybody's chatting. And it's just kind of nice because it's like you can see everybody's progress. You can see if somebody ran into a snag or if somebody had to rip out or, you is know. Is this a direct mm -hmm. message or is this, how is this um, happening? It is, yeah. Because it sounds she interesting. Must have, yeah, she must have created it. I didn't know you could so create it. So Whitmore Testers. What? So, yeah. So it's everybody's, you know, talking oh. back and forth. And oh, that's cool. So it's really, she created it. I don't know uh -huh. how you do that. But, um, but, yeah, it's just under your basic, you know. In, in the direct Ooh. messages. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, that makes sense. It's nice because I feel like everybody's, you know, cheering each other on and you can see That's what That's probably what a knit along at. is supposed to be like. Probably. <laughs> Don't know. ask us. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I've decided that from now on, if I say that I will test knit for somebody and I don't do it, then I'm going to like gift their pattern to somebody. Because I oh. feel like I've, I'm a failure if I don't finish it and do it. And so I owe it to the designer to like at least gift the pattern to someone. Oh, I see you know what, what you're mean? saying. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Because they're giving me their pattern for gotcha. free to test it. And then if I don't finish it or don't do it. It's only happened once, hasn't it? I don't even know. I mean, there was that I don't one. Know. I don't Recent remember. one. Well, I, mean, um, I don't think you are like a chronic. No, but I feel like I've done it enough to where it's oh. like, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay. Like if I don't finish it, I need to like, I owe it to, to them to gift their pattern to someone so and i'm not sure when amy wants us done with this yet um hopefully i'm finishing it on time you seem like you're moving along on it hopefully but i know she you wants to release it done, and you've yeah. done the lace work the rest of it because it's, it's not just lace knitting. all the way down right? no it's yeah, just knitting so, so you'll, it'll you'll have that in no time. yeah it's just it's yeah i don't know how long the body will need to be i'll have to look at that but the sleeves definitely took some time are taking yeah. some time because they're like i think 18 inches long and, and then three. and then three inches of the yeah, rib that's crazy so it's big but Crazy. But it's good. It's been fun, and it's held my attention, and I haven't gotten bored with the white. That's so. fabulous. I love things knit in white or cream. Yeah. They're so pretty. But and they're I so agree. neutral. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And they always look elegant. And mm -hmm. I hope so. Yeah, It looks uh, elegant on her. So <laughs> I don't know if it'll look elegant it on me. It will but look great on you. It'll be yeah. fine. It'll be good. Yeah. But I'm excited. But I have so many sweaters on the needles that when I went to do my sleeves, like, I didn't have any short cables because <laughs> oh, all of them are all, all of my other oh, I have like so three funny. sweaters that are just needing sleeves I see sleeves suck that's why that's a whole sleeve island thing it is it's real it's it real especially real when place. you have like three sweaters <laughs> so I'm just so like there's I, a lot of islands yes there's a lot of islands so luckily these sleeves are so big and poofy that um it's been okay because I can use a little bit bigger of 
Oh, cables. and you could always magic loop. I could. I just too. hate magic loop. I mean, do you? I don't mind it for socks, okay. but I don't like it for sleeves. Same. I mean, to be honest, I don't really like it for. I like it for socks. Yeah. But if socks I'm doing a hat magic. or something, I'd rather do it on a sixteen inch. Yeah, that's how I am too. Yeah, yeah totally, hands I don't know down. Why that is. I don't either. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it's just the whole switching and having to, you know, pull it out, and yeah. I don't know. Socks, it just flows. It does. It does. Speaking of socks, yes. I finished my scrappy socks for nice. the Desert Vista Dye Works January. So oh, I didn't put them on my sock blockers. That was lame. Uh oh. I just had them. I washed. I wore them a couple times, and then I washed them. Yeah. And then I threw them in my bag so I'd remember them. Mm -hmm. But I should have put them on the sock blockers because they look way cooler. Oh well, but on, they're beautiful on sock blockers. But yes, um, very cool. I love scrappy socks. So you wove in all the ends. Well, okay. Here's the thing. Because I'm just. Like that's the thing that turns me okay. off about I them. I know, I know. Yeah. So when I first started them, I think I told you guys I was doing the magic knot, right. and then it kind of came undone. Yeah, I think because I cut it too close. Right. And you're using tiny needles. Yes. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, no, I'm gonna do the weaving in the ends thing. So mm -hmm. I did that for a while, mm -hmm. and then I was like, screw that. I went back to magic knotting. So totally. we'll see what happens. Yeah, and the thing is, I mean, they swear that if you do magic knot correctly, if it's not gonna correctly. come undone. Well, here's the thing so. too. I'll tell you about this other thing with a magic loop. But um, I like scrappy enough that I will deal with the ends. It's good like, for you. I, because I love scrappy socks. I do too. They're always my favorite. Yeah. But I did want to say, so these are my January for the Desert Vista Dye Works. Okay. But I wanted to clarify because I think Carrie asked me, she was a little, like, she misunderstood. If you are doing, and if you're already doing it, you know mm -hmm. this, but if you're contemplating that Desert Vista Dye Works sock of the month thing, that's not something that she sends you, like, January's colorway, February's colorway. Right. You get to pick your own from yes. all of her hundreds of yeah. choices. Or if you already own her yarn. If you, yeah, exactly. Totally you fine. can stash dive, whatever. Yeah. So um, just to be clear on that, it's not like... A club where you get yarn every month. Exactly. Although that'd be nice. Well, you I mean, do that. you know, those are fun, <clears throat> and we've done them over the years, but mm -hmm. it's, I don't know, like... Whenever I do those, I'm always disappointed in the yarn. Oh, true. Like because true. I want to pick my own, I think. Yes. And so, that although when true. people send us yarn, I always throw. I know. I guess yeah, but well, when it's free, it, that does make it. <laughs> but it's a gift, it's, and it's a yes. gift, so you appreciate um, it more. You definitely do. But I guess if you're paying for it, you want to yeah. make sure that you. Yeah. There, I did that one club one time, which ended poorly. But that cat's kettle. Mm -hmm. uh, I yep. think that was her name. Yes, that sounds right. Yeah. That sounds right. And, I mean, she dyed gorgeous yarn, mm -hmm. and it was this three-month club, some of you might remember, and she only we all paid up front, yeah. and then she only gave us one skate. Yeah. And then she disappeared. Yeah, no longer I got, dies. I got my money back from... PayPal, um, from right? PayPal, yeah. but I know a lot of people didn't, so they bought mm. one very expensive skein, and that's yeah. not my concern. Like when I buy yeah. stuff from people, I'm not concerned that they're not going to do it. It's right. just a lot of times it's just you know I don't know. If it's a mystery, especially yeah, which yeah. all of them are. Yeah. you don't know what you're getting exactly, and it's their interpretation of what they like. And right, it may not be what you like. Yeah, yeah. The, but it's when we first started knitting and buying yarn, that was really fun. Totally, I think it's just that now I just don't like it as well, much. Well, I think because, you know more what you like. Yeah, when we were first starting to knit, I think we were just. Just like we had different tastes, oh, yeah. we didn't really care as much. I don't know if that's the right word, but we were just collecting. It was all new. We were all yeah. collecting, yeah. And, and I think now you and I know more what Definitely we like, more of what we like. <clears throat> and what we don't really like. So, so I knit helps. this. Uh, Lori mm -hmm. had knit me a hat, or she didn't. I don't think she knit it for me. She knit a hat. Mm -hmm. It was too big for her. And I know this because I looked at your Ravelry page. Nice. Uh, and she gave it to me either for my birthday or Christmas. Yeah. Year. But it is it was the softest hat. Nice. And I, I default to it a lot because I can wear it without it itching my head. Mm, nice. Like, That's good. A lot of my hats, I love them. And they don't, like, totally bug me. But mm. I can only wear them for so long. And mm -hmm. then I have to, like, screw yeah. you know. Yeah. So I found out a couple times from her what the yarn was. It's Ella Ray. Mm. Um, Cozy Alpaca Chunky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Label. Yeah. Anyway, it is an acrylic <clears throat> and alpaca. Oh, interesting. Okay. And it is so soft. Nice. And so it's Maybe. it's a less expensive yarn than a lot of yarns. Yeah. So I ended up buying some... It's really soft. ...to do Michael, a hat for Michael. I was going to do us each a hat. Mm -hmm. And I decided to just do one color, and we could both have the same color hats. Because I like the green. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Anyway, this is a church mouse. He... 
I asked him, I, I was like, well, what do you think of this hat? What do you think of this hat? We have totally different taste mm, in hats. Mm-hmm. And he's, he doesn't want any cables or any, you know. But he says, well, I would like one with ear flaps. Nice. I'm like, okay, okay cool. All right. Yes, yeah, you can do I that. I can work with that. So I knit him this. I didn't add the little braids to it. He wasn't <laughs> wanting those. But um, it's That's really. <clears throat> can you try it on? I could try it on. I So it's going to be huge on me, and it's even kind of big on him. So it's knit on a size 10, and I kind of, like, if I were to do it again, and I might, I might do him another one. Um, Actually, it's kind of comfortable on me. Yeah, no, it looks super cute on you. It's cute. uh, It's a little, I would do it on a 9 for him. Okay. Because he wants it for when he's out working. Okay. And, yeah, actually, this one I think I would totally wear because it's not squishing my head. No, I think it's really cute. Let's see. It's adorable. You know, I can't see it. So what size needle was that one on? A 10. So you would do his on a 9? I would do his on a 9. Yeah, because he says that, you know, when he's out doing stuff, it could fall off his head. I mean, I guess I just don't go out and do stuff. (laughs) You know, like, well, I mean, he has shorter hair. Uh, he has you no know, hair. No hair. Yeah. So, yeah, I would definitely want it closer probably to his head, whereas you, the hair probably helps keep it probably, on. Probably, especially, yeah. But I mean, I'll, I'm going to see how long I can keep it on yes, before it bugs it. me. Okay. Yes. Because I have two more. This took just under one of these. Okay. And so I could do two more. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That's good. At least one more. That's an economical hat. It's just so cozy. Yeah, super Feel soft. It. I mean, mm-hmm. super soft. Yeah. 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 Of course, he was just saying that he really likes it, so I probably shouldn't steal his. Well, I'd let him try it on and see what oh, he thinks. Oh, he's worn it. Yeah, he likes okay, it. Okay, so he thinks it stays on fine? Well, no. I mean, he, he would like it smaller. Okay, well, then I would just tell him to make you another one. I'll it's... make him another one before I steal this one yes, from him. Yes, there you go. That's there the answer go. right and there. And you can whip it out pretty quick, right? Oh, yeah. I could have done it in one day. Yeah. But, you know, working with size 10 needles, yeah. it just really bugs my hands. Yeah. And I think that's why my, well, there's two reasons that my second turtle dove isn't done. Mm. One of them is the big needles. Yeah. It just, I just don't like knitting with those big needles. Mm-hmm. The other thing is that I'm not using tuft, not tuft, um, wool folk. folk. It's, um, yeah, what was it? It's it, a weird name, isn't it? Or no, a different name? It's, well, no. Uh, well, you used it too. Oh, the one I'm using. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm part of the conversation now. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. I don't remember what it's called. I know. It's a di- I mean, it's it's a different language. Yeah. So it's just, I don't understand. Right. Whatever the word is, it means snowflake or yes. something. Yes. But anyway. Yeah. I really, mm. like, feel bad that this project is just sitting there. I know. Because it's a turtle dove. It's a turtle dove. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. I need to start working on it again. Work on it. Because I, I think you will like it once it's done. Once it's done, I will. It's definitely, this. that's definitely a project. Knit. Whereas if I had been using the wool folk again, yeah. it would be an enjoyable. Although the sweater I'm knitting with the wool folk right now, I've still not touched it. So I still oh. have just, I think I still have just sleeves to do. Or I can't wow. remember. Wow. Oh, with that really pretty color yeah, from yeah. their fall line. I need to finish it. So the problem is. It's ridiculous. But I think with this test that I want to get it done, obviously. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try not to sniffle too much. I'm oh, I know. Over my I'm cold. glad you're feeling better. Yes. <clears throat> um, anyway, so that pat, I, I wanted to show you guys. I, as I was getting my stuff ready yesterday to come here, I decided to start show notes. So at oh. least I'll have some show notes ready to go. Nice. Because <laughs> I don't usually, as you nice. guys know. But so the pattern is, um, it's a free pattern by Church Mouse, and it's nice. called I'm the right Ear down. Flap Hat. Well, you don't have to because, look, it's already linked. I know, but I will I have, look at show notes? Probably not. <laughs> Fine. I'm a naughty. I'm a naughty uh, knitter. Yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> Just like when I went to go get this yarn, and they were like, "Oh, what's the gauge?" I'm like, I don't get it. "What? <laughs> what's, I don't do gauge." The only reason I'm, I'm going to do a gauge it. swatch is for to do the um, ear flap hat. Ear flap hat. To do the that shift cowl. Mm-hmm. I told you that um, Janine gave me the her leftovers. Of oh, the, right. I'm, and then we talked about how it's scratchy, but people recommend use, washing it with hair conditioner. Oh, right. Yep. yep. So I'm going to knit a swatch and and do that and see yeah. if it makes it soft. Good for you. Because so that's wanna, a good idea. I don't want to knit the whole thing no and way. find out that, no, it didn't quite yeah, fit. Yeah, so. that you won't wear it. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you could gift it, but that's a lot of work. I have a lot of things that I feel like I could gift. That well, I, I keep knit. gifting stuff all yeah. the time because I'm just like, yeah, if I don't wear a shawl, I don't wear shawls very often, but I like knitting them. Yeah. But when I'm done with them, I'm like, if I don't absolutely, well, no, I've given away some that I've really loved. But um, 
I just get. Well, you're probably more discerning now before you knit a shawl. Yes, I definitely yeah. kind of know more what I like right. and what I'm looking for. But, um, but yeah, I'm just I don't know. I'm more freer now to just give it away. Yeah. It's like I can knit another one <laughs> if, yeah. I, if I really want to. Probably I will. mean, yeah. it's I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting to think about because I think when we first started knitting, like I hoarded my yarn or my my projects more because I was like, it was like. An amazing thing. I put so and much I into just this. Finished. And once you become a knitter, not an expert knitter, we're not experts by any means, but you just become better at it. You're just like, yeah, I can knit another one. Yeah. You know. Be kind of fun to knit another one. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't or know if not. I've ever done that. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, you're doing the turtle dove, the second one, so. Not very well. But how many times do we actually I mean, need to re-knit something right. a second time? Exactly. Although the Edo shawl is Besides one that socks. I'm like, I would knit that one again because my sister loves mine. That's the one that's really rustic. That's my oh. favorite shawl of all time. Oh. Yes. And every time I wear it, she's like, I love that shawl. And I don't think the wool bothers her. So oh. I thought, well, I could knit another one. Remember my... Northeasterly. Northeasterly mm -hmm. blanket. Yes. Well, I haven't worked on it ever since starting the crochet one. Oh. Because I don't want it. Exactly. Isn't I have funny? no desire. Isn't that funny? So what are you going to do? Well, that's, my, that's why I brought it. Because I was thinking, I have a couple options. Yeah. Okay. So this is where we're at. You know, I've done like three rows. It's very long. Yeah. But in the big scheme of things, I'm nowhere near being done with this. Right. So, you know. So, yeah. I, okay. You guys need to either talk me down or say go for it. Okay. I'm thinking of ripping it out and just okay. converting it into a crochet blanket mm -hmm. because that's what I like to do for blankets. Yeah. I just don't see working on this. Mm -hmm. For the next 10 years. <laughs> right. Because, I mean, it's just, like, it's neat looking and stuff. Yeah. But I have to be honest, like, for most things, I like how knitting looks better. Right. Right. But for these blankets, I mm -hmm. like how the crochet blankets I look. Too. I do, too. And so... Did you ever... You started at Bits and Bobs, didn't you? No, I have the pattern, but okay. I haven't started it yet. Because you might like that. That's another... That's knitting, though, but... Yeah. And it's... I don't love it as much as I love my crochet blankets, yeah. but... And I kind of like... Like, now that I'm doing the crochet mm -hmm. blanket, I kind of like having that... You know, like if I'm, if we're going somewhere and Michael's driving, mm -hmm. it's the perfect thing for mm -hmm. the car because you never have to finish a row. Yep. You know, it's like, it's a great thing to have for when, like we've talked about, when mm -hmm. you don't have a ton of time. So I kind of feel like I always want to have one yep. going. Yep. And so I'm not going to have two blankets going. No. I'm not going to work on two different blankets. It's just not going to happen. Well, and the thing is, I think too, if you were to rip this out and let's just say you're down the road, you're like, man, I missed that blanket you would do it differently this time. You wouldn't do it as long, right? right? So you would do it shorter, and that Honestly, way it would go I faster. Honestly, I wouldn't do it again. I don't think you would either, really but I'm just don't. saying if you wanted to, yeah. you probably wouldn't want it that long anyway. It's, you know what's <clears throat> keeping me from just ripping it out yeah. is the work that I put into oh, it. Oh, completely. But who cares? If it's just going to sit in a bag, yeah, it's what's just the knitting. point? It's just knitting. So the other thing I thought, because this is what a couple people have done, mm -hmm. is you know just do it as a... yeah. You know, I could just do it as like a... Yeah, a shawl. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's nice. The yarn dangling from yes. it, yeah. But if I did that... Would you Would wear? I really wear this? Like, okay, say that's not there. Yeah, yeah finish that row. Um, is this a look... What do you guys think? I mean, would that be a good... Or should I just... Because remember, like, the thing that I ripped out, put in the magic ball, and uh -huh. then ultimately used in my crochet blanket? Mm -hmm. That was really fun. Yeah. Because it had been a while since I'd seen the yarn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Um, now, granted, this would be a few different magic balls because they're in strips, but oh, right. I just don't know. Let me see if I back up a little bit. Mm. I just don't know that I would. I mean, could, would this? How is that as a scarf? What do you, I mean? I mean, it totally depends on your opinion of what you like. I'm asking for your opinion. I probably wouldn't wear it, yeah, okay. but that's just me. <laughs> no, if I know. If you like it and you'd wear it, wear it, do it. Well, I think if I liked it, yeah, I would be like, yeah. oh yeah, this is a great idea. Yeah. Like, yeah. kind of like this hat, and I'm not taking it off because. It's itching. I right. just, I feel like I want it off. Oh, okay. Um, Get maybe, warm. Yeah, maybe because I just have all this stuff yeah, on me. Okay, stuff. I think, I think I'm going to just rip it out. But see, then there will probably be a lot of viewers that say, oh my gosh, Don't it's beautiful. Don't it. Save it. I Use know. it as a shawl or whatever. Or scarf. It'd be more a like scarf. a scarf. It would totally be a scarf. Yeah. And, and it also, you have to ask yourself, would I prefer to see these beautiful yarns in something that, 
I love. Right. Like, that's the thing. If it's something you don't love, then yes. all these beautiful yarns are kind of going to waste in a way. Well, and that's that's kind of what I was thinking is, so a lot of these, well, 24 of these were advents when I did the Arkansas yarn mm -hmm. um, Christmas advent. Yeah. And so then I was thinking, well, then I have my Barnyard Knits one from this year. Mm -hmm. I would really like to do a blanket mm -hmm. with the advents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, That's why, I, like I was telling you on, I think, the last podcast, I think I'm going to do that every Christmas. Yeah. Just use the advents I get and do another crochet blanket. And probably have one going on during the year anyway. Yeah. But, but specifically for the holiday season, I just like yeah. having that one project to focus on. And it could really just sit and wait, like, because 24 minis, yeah. especially these, because I only did half. Oh, right. You got the other half. Yeah. Or most of them. Yeah. That's not going to make a whole blanket. Right. So I could do, what I, like with this one, I could just take the ones that were the advents mm -hmm. and put them towards a new, mm -hmm. and then put the Barnyard Knits yeah. advent ones in it. And, it. and even if I don't finish it, you know, then, yeah, once yeah. I'm caught up, it could just mm -hmm. sit aside for Christmas mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. Or whatever. Yeah. But I think I've just, I think that, I think this has been helpful. Good. I think I am just going to. talking it out. Yeah. Because I do love the yarns. Yeah. I hate that I put all this work into it and I'm just going to yeah. rip it out. But what, what's the alternative, you know, to you drudge to through yeah, exactly. and, and not, not enjoy, enjoy it. it and have it take the next five years. Yeah. yeah it's mean, nothing against this blanket. Like I, no, it's obviously I liked it and that's why mm -hmm. I started doing it. It's just that I find it's really hard for me to prioritize knitting on a blanket. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a hard time prioritizing the, uh, crocheting on Me a blanket. Me too. That's how I am too. And I just ordered yes. a new uh, crochet hook that's coming nice. today. Oh. I wish it was here. Oh. It's uh, So those of you that crochet will know this. Mm -hmm. Furls? Furls? F-U-R-L-S. I think I've heard of it. I hadn't. I it? don't even know how I saw it. But yeah. uh, well, there was this one I really wanted. Yeah. There was a couple that I really mm -hmm. wanted. Um, the... The inexpensive one that I got was thirty three dollars. Wow! For one yeah. crochet hook, is it? So that tells is you the handle hand. handmade or or it's made with some special wood. Yeah, I'm sure there's something special about it. You know, like it's supposed to be ergonomic good for your hand. Yeah, and, and you know the hook's supposed to glide through like butter. Nice. You know, they sell yeah, you and stuff. Yeah, but let's hope so. It. It, the one that I really wanted had the rose gold tip mm. and then like a white. I mean, any handle would have been pretty, mm. but that was $66. Yeah. And I just could not bring myself Although to do that. Although you love knitting or crocheting the blankets, you'll probably use it forever. I mean. Maybe so. But at this yeah. point, I just thought I yeah. can't. Um, yeah. Like, I just, yeah. I'm excited about the one that I'm getting. Awesome. And it'll be interesting to see if it is more comfortable. As, oh. I was like, mm -hmm. where is it? Well, this isn't my crochet yeah. blanket, so I'm not going to find it. But Isn't it nice, too, with crochet that, um, and everybody knows this, that's nothing new, but that you can just put it down, and if it comes out, no big deal. Like, Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, I, I use a stitch marker, <clears throat> a progress keeper on the live stitch to yeah. keep it from, but sometimes but if it does, if it, it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's not going to rip all the way out, no. and to me, it's Fixing easy a stitch to fix is it. Yeah. No big deal. And it's funny, because once I finished um, my first one, then it got me to knit, uh, to crochet that one on the foot rest thing over there. Oh, oh, And that yeah. one's a square that went all the way around. Oh. Oh, and so okay. it makes you want to like try different. Oh, I totally. You know what I mean? Because that one was a lot of fun. Yeah. And that was very inexpensive yarn, but it's super soft and drapey, and I love that blanket. But it 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 does it opens your mind to like, oh, what other fun blankets can I do? Because they're so yes, quick. They are. They are they're they're gratifying. So quick. And yeah. with the minis, it is oh, so yeah. fun mm -hmm. with minis to yeah. have them going into so, like yeah. for a lot. Like, I think what. I have to move past this one. So thank you guys. That's, we're gonna <laughs> Although do they that. might all be yelling at you saying, no, don't do it, it. Don't save it. Send it to me. I'll finish it. That's so sweet. A lot of people offer that for us. And that's very, very kind. <laughs> you is. might be slightly crazy, but you're very yeah. kind. <laughs> well, you know, Gail, who I get together yeah. with on Mondays, she loves to untangle yarn. Mm. Like seriously, yeah. like when, <clears throat> I've heard that. Yeah. And I just didn't believe it. I was like, nobody yeah. would love that. She really does. So. Well, it's interesting. It's kind of relaxing in a way. No. I mean, the times I've had to undo it, I just sit on the couch and just work at it. It is so not relaxing to Well, me. it's funny because I remember the first time I had to do it. It was when I was a new knitter, and it was expensive yarn to yeah. me yeah. at the time, which I had no idea at the time what real you know expensive right. yarn is. And I was like, I am not going to just throw this away you know I spent so much money on this yarn you know and it wasn't that expensive but um 
but I did. I spent so much time, and I remember vacillating. I was asking Bob, is it really worth it to do this? And he was like, I mean, he probably thought I was crazy. But I was like, I felt like I had spent so much on this skein of yarn that I had to just work at it. Oh, I, absolutely. I that, think I did. The first hat that I knit for Michael with yarn store, right? you know, local yarn yeah. store yarn. Yeah. And <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't realize, you know, that a hank of yarn yeah. needed to be dealt with different yeah. than just opening it up. Oh, and my gosh. That's how green yes, I was. Yes, totally. And, Isn't that uh, funny? Yeah. I remember those days. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, and you and it's so funny because it takes you a couple times to learn that lesson. Because I remember thinking, oh, it'll be okay this time. That was just a fluke thing. And then the next time you do it again and you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm so stupid like <laughs> no this does not work leslie you have to get it into a ball or a yeah. cake or that's funny yeah did but, you get a hickey or did you burn uh, yourself no with the... i know i felt like telling people <laughs> that okay so i like to curl my hair with this stupid wand i've talked about it before yeah. and oh my gosh burned myself totally does look like i have a hickey it although does. i've never in my life had a hickey so really? i feel kind of privileged to actually have one but um and then this morning i was curling my hair again and burnt you probably can't oh, no. see but burnt my freaking finger that thing is so hot yeah. but i keep oh. using it which is stupid i think i'm the oh, stupid one no but it comes with a glove like i told you guys it's last time so but the funny. glove you can't feel your hair when you're doing it so you really can't use it but i burn myself all the time and i'm just like why do i keep doing this to myself every day it's ridiculous what we do for curls you know i straighten myself. i know <laughs> I've I've kind of gotten back into straightening it, which is a bummer because now when I try to wear it curly, I hate it. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, I'm back to that. So I need to. I think I need to go in and see the hair guy that yeah. that works with curls because yeah. I just need some help. I'm just yeah. not liking how it's. See, and it's so funny because I'm just the opposite. I could not have straight hair. Uh, My hair is so flat. Well, mine's just, really flat right now too. And I was thinking, yeah. if I used product in it yeah. and hairspray and stuff, it would look better. Yeah. But well, I don't want to be washing that stuff out into. Yeah. Now that I'm living somewhere that mm -hmm. our water mm -hmm. drains into our property yeah. because we are not on city sewer, right? It kind of makes you think differently about yeah. what you're putting yeah. down there. And I don't want a That's bunch true. of hair products going into my. That is true. Like hairspray and stuff. Yeah. I don't mind. I I use yeah. some hair stuff, but are you gonna yeah. stop showering and stuff? Can you tell that I have? Gonna, no. <laughs> so you just start ba stop bathing. <laughs> no, I am not that way. In okay. fact, Michael <clears throat> was telling me the other day, oh, I'm just going to have to put the glasses mm -hmm. on, that since we're on a septic, yeah. he was reading something and like, you won't be able to, he says, you're not going to be able to do all your laundry in one day on the septic system oh because the suds and the soap and stuff i or? think just the it, it, like in the summer you probably could but when yeah. it's rainy like it's been rainy here for yeah. months now yeah i used to love the rain yeah i still like the rain but i'm kind of sick of the isn't rain. it funny i know it's kind of getting to me like it was funny yesterday we had some sun for a couple hours and yeah. i was like oh my gosh i needed this so bad hey you like untangling things what's up with that mm -hmm. Um, but it's kind of, it's weird. I love the rain, but this year, for some reason, it's just kind of getting to me. Oh, it was just stuck. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, it's just been so much of yes, it. Yes. Yes. And I think part of it's because I'm living without windows and stuff. Right. So I'm not even enjoying it. And it's harder for you to get places. I mean, right. it takes longer, so you have to think twice. So I want to, and also just driving in it. Yeah. I'm constantly hydroplaning, which oh. drives me crazy. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, can I just get somewhere without like sliding all over the place? And it's just, yeah, I think it's just been like nonstop. I feel like we've had more rain than We usual. have. I think they said January was like a record. Oh, really? Rainfall for here. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And too so much, it's just, much. it's too much. And my yard needs a ton of work. And I'm just like, I don't want to go out there. <laughs> I know everything's just so soggy. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, wait till it dries up. And, yeah. And it's yeah. like, <clears throat> we started out today with sunglasses in the car because there were the sun was shining this yeah. morning. And then I was yeah. like, that was cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we thought yeah. we'd actually need sunglasses. That's a nice little tease. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I know. Yeah, but those couple days, I think it was last Saturday, was sunny. We had a, and it was I know. so nice. It, I went out and yeah, walked the dog. Same. I mean, yeah, it was we did. Just, we went and walked the dogs, yes. and I was like, I just felt like I was so happy, like <laughs> yes. just in such a good mood. I, I was like, wow, I things know. are. And then it occurred to me, I'm suffering that stupid I thing know. that I used to laugh about. Me because, too, because usually rain does not affect no. me. I love it. Me too. But I'm just yeah. like, I don't know. I'm just antsy to just, I don't know get back out in the yard, be able to go hiking and just make, you know, 
Yeah, just get our choices. And, and where we're at now, you know, and if you're new to watching us, mm-hmm. I will live in a house again someday. Someday. Someday, someday soon, hopefully. Hopefully. But yes. we are living in a temporary situation, and the rain on this pole barn is so loud mm. that when we're watching TV, we have to, like, crank it up like we're really oh. deaf. Yeah. Because it's so loud, you can't mm. hear the TV. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> the problems we have. Yeah. <laughs> we have to turn our TV out. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Gotta get a house. Oh, my gosh. That's oh, but funny. what was I saying about the when Michael was talking about how I wasn't going to be able to do all oh, yeah. this laundry? I started having like a panic attack. Like, <laughs> You've restricted me already. I know. Like, what have I gotten into? But then I thought, you know what? I don't. You, when I had a house mm-hmm. with a washer and dryer, mm-hmm. I didn't do all my laundry in one day. No, I did it throughout the week. Mm-hmm. I don't need to do ten loads. Well, it's of just the two of you. I mean, well, you'd think so. that would make us have less laundry, but it doesn't because. Yeah. You get dirtier when you live out true. in these places. That's true. Yeah, Bob, every time I do the laundry, he has, like, so many shirts and pants. And I'm like, do you – it's just funny to me because, like, I'll wear an outfit and I won't wash it. Right. You know, because to me, if I'm like, if I didn't dirty. sweat or right. if I didn't, like, get gross or spill food on it, like, I'm not going to wash it. And so, like, even my pants, I'm the same way. I don't wash my pants every time, you know, one after one I know. Wear. I mean, your underwear, so what? You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I do wash. Um, do but you wash just, your bra every day? No. Okay. I wear it for like two or three days. Yeah. Unless I'm like summer and it's hot and sweaty. Right. But if it's not, then it's like every just three days. Just to be clear, days. yes, I wash my underwear. If yes. I wear them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, but he always has tons of laundry and I'm like, oh my gosh, like why do you have so much laundry? But What about he, towels? Um, towels we don't, we use like a couple times. A couple times, yeah. yeah. I have one that I will use like for my face and my hair. Yes. <clears throat> not like to dry my hair, but just um, to keep it from dripping all over myself. Yeah. Otherwise, like my body towel. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't want that on my face multiple times. Yeah. No, we, yeah, I, I, we change our towels every like two or two days, two or three days. Um, it's interesting though. Bob's dad always uses a new towel every day. I used to. Yeah. It's so yeah. interesting. Cause I remember when I lived with him for a short time before Bob and I got married and, um, he would switch his towel every single day, and I just thought, that's so weird. Not only did I switch my body towel, but I used to wrap my hair in a towel. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't know. It seems so weird to me now that I used to do that, but I would. Mm-hmm. And I'd wash that one every day, too. Wow. <laughs> I know. What was I yeah. thinking? Like, my towel got so dirty wrapping my clean hair. Right. Yeah. I know, and it's just funny because I don't know if it's because I grew up with four kids in the family when I was a kid that my mom was like, no, you're using that towel for a couple times. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm just like, I'd never known anybody that washed their towel after each use. Yeah. No, I I used to. So Bob and I, I mean, we have our own towel and then I just switch them like every two or three days. I mean, unless they're soaking wet. If they got too wet and aren't going to dry, then I'll wash them sooner. But, but yeah, it's interesting. Okay. So we better get back to knitting. I know. I know. (laughs) No more towel talk. Yeah. Uh, Unless they're knitted towels. I have nothing yeah. else to show because oh. I um, I want to participate in the Abby Knits Knit Along. Okay. And so I just printed off her hat pattern um, today. It's a free pattern. So I think I'm going to do this. I saw something look like there was something cast on in that bag. There is. It was that. But I'm not going to do oh, it. Oh, I see. So okay. I'm going to rip it out. But yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is a cute pattern. It's a cute, cute hat. So it's free. So if you guys are still looking for a pattern, I, is it? Oh, it must be. I was gonna say it must be because I thought it was only free for if you bought the posy shawl. I guess not because I have not bought right. that one yet. Okay, I have it in my favorites, and I've it's, thought about buying it. It's she did it um, with the idea of getting to use your leftovers, leftovers from the posy shawl. Yeah. So and I'm. I mean, I'll probably do the posy shawl eventually. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, but the hat, I just feel like. I, I have, the yeah, and I've given away several hats this last year, so I feel like I don't have very many hats. Not that I wear them, so I don't even know what I'm thinking, well, but you give I'll away. give them away. I'll give them away, yeah. Why don't you ever wear hats? Well, because I feel like it's a commitment. I feel like if I'm going to put a oh, hat on for the day, okay. it's yeah. going to be there for the whole day. Yeah. Like last night, I was cold, and it had been raining. Bob and I had been out. So when I came home, I put my pajamas on, and I put a hat on. Okay. And I wore it just around the house till bedtime. But if I'm going to go out and about... Um, yeah. And I'm not a I'm not a super casual person. Um, I just I like dressing up a little bit almost every day. So a, a hat just doesn't fit in with that. Sure. You know, if I was just gonna wear jeans and a sweatshirt, it would fit. But I just I usually don't dress that way. Um, and so I feel like 
I have to like know my outfit and know that I'm going to be just casual for the day. Yeah. And I'm usually And it is like obviously with my hair flat like this I just don't care but yeah. you're right when you're if you're taking a hat on and off yep. and you have hair yes. it does make it. Yes. And that's the thing my hair would get flat as a pancake if I curled it and then wore a hat and then took it off I know if you're going to burn yourself on multiple parts of your body <laughs> it's got to be curls. Worse. Yeah, we're not going to flatten it out with some <laughs> stupid hat. Exactly. Why would I do that? I know. Okay. It's so funny. <laughs> So I'm just getting this one strip off, and then yeah. then I will um, do. So the you're rest. ripping it out before you get input from anybody else. Sometimes you gotta just rip the bandaid yeah, off, that's and true. because like, and you'll know once you rip it all out if you feel good. You'll be like, you'll either yeah. feel good or you'll be like, holy crap, what did I just what do? What did I just? Do? Well, I don't so. feel bad at all for just doing that much. Okay, good. I feel it's I a feel beautiful okay. mini. Look at that. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna be like when I started thinking about it. I started thinking about it yesterday. Yeah. And it like made me feel like excited. Yeah, kind of like the possibilities. Exactly. Like yeah. because this yeah. thing has just been on my mind, like, oh, yes. I really should be doing that. Because yes. I already have all this lovely yarn tied up in it. Yes. And so yeah. I have a pro I have a couple projects right now that I feel the same way. That if it wasn't blended with a bunch of mohair, I would totally rip it out. But because it is with multiple skeins of mohair, I feel like there's no way I can go back. Yeah. But it bums me out because I'm like, oh, I love that yarn. Didn't someone say stick it in your freezer and it would be easier to pull out? Yeah. You're not going to try that? No. I should. I mean, it'd be worth it. It'd be worth trying. But I'm just not that committed to I just, I'm so close to being done with the project. I feel like I just need to persevere and get it done. And I could sew this together. Yeah. Could be a cowl. <clears throat> I still don't think I'd love it, though. Yeah, I think I think it'd be okay, but I don't think it'd be something that you're like, oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah. Like, I don't know anymore when I be, knit. I want it to be something yeah. I love. It would be an obligation. Yeah. Instead of something that I'm yeah. enjoying. Yeah. So yeah. You wouldn't look at it and go, look at the, isn't this right. amazing? You just go, oh, I guess I'll toss this on. Yeah, exactly. So. So you don't have any other knitting to show? No, I have tons of projects on the needles, but nothing that I worked on because okay. I literally wanted to get the sweater done. Well, that's fair. And I did get all almost. Well, most of the lace done and then realized I'd made a mistake and had to rip it all out. So, um, but it's a very fun, fun sweater. So when it comes out, you guys will have to get it. That'll be very, very fun. Cool. Yeah. It's beautiful. Well, my posy shawl uh -huh. for the knit along, the Abby yeah. Knits knit along. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? <laughs> tangles everywhere. I do. I Yarn have Yarn tangle tangles, my... bag, handle so. tangles. I ran into a problem and I don't know exactly what, uh -oh. but it's gorgeous. Oh, oh my gosh, just throwing your glasses. So first it was a stitch marker. Oh my gosh. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank yes, you. We'll welcome. get the stitch marker later. Okay. All right. <laughs> just because I don't want it to end up in your vacuum and cause you any problems. Oh, it's totally fine. It'd be fine. So it's gorgeous. I don't know where I was when we last did this, um, but I don't know if you had done any brioche. I definitely hadn't done brioche. Okay. I don't even know that I'd done. I hadn't. I had not. Remember, because I sent you the video yeah. of this, this section with the gray, mm -hmm. I was going to mix with this. I was going to do like every other row. Right. And I but tried But then you it, didn't think you wanted And I could stripes. maybe put in a little video. Mm -hmm. You guys can see what it would have looked like. But I didn't love it. I just didn't think yeah. it went. And it blended too much with this, right? It looked too close. I don't know what the deal was. I mean, I just yeah. didn't like how it was looking. Yeah. So I decided to just go with the gray. Uh -huh. And then I did something on these short rows, mm -hmm. the, the gray part, where I ended up with way too many stitches. And so I don't really mind that, that you know, that's just going to make it deeper and longer, which I okay. mean is totally fine. Mm -hmm. But it just kind of bums me out. That yeah. It's like I want to know what I did. Yeah. Obviously, I did too many wrap and turns. When did you find out that you'd made the mistake? When I was done with the gray part. Okay, and then you just continued I counted, with the brush. Oh, yeah. Oh, heck yeah, because <laughs> okay. I counted the stitches yeah. to, because I wanted to make sure that I at least had the right... Uh, Combo for the brioche. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've got like, you know, 60 stitches too many or whatever it is. I don't remember now, but it's a lot. Yeah. And so it makes these rows just go on and wow. on and on. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's yeah. really, oh my goodness. really long. And this yes. is, this is um, not, this is squished down. You yeah. Know, down. Right. Right. So it's just like, now I'm to the point where I just want to be done with a stupid thing. Yeah. Like I feel that way, but I think once it's done, I'm going to oh, be you're happy gonna love with it. it. Yeah, it's beautiful. But it's gorgeous. I'm just, 
Yeah. I'm just sick of it. Well, isn't it hard? I mean, and I don't know if this is the reason why you feel that way, that you're sick of it, but it's like if I know I've made a mistake yeah. and I don't know what the hell I did, it bothers me so bad that then it, I do lose interest in yes. the project because I feel like, yeah, what did I do? And it's not affecting it in a negative way as far right. as like the size. Or the shape. It's not going to be right. weird or messed up. It's totally yeah. fine. It's just that I think that does have a yes. lot to do with it. Like if I hadn't messed up on it, mm -hmm. I would feel better about yes. it. Yes, yes. And so. Um, yes. So Because it's gorgeous. It, I mean, yeah. And the yarn's beautiful. No complaint about how so it, pretty. Just, it'll be lovely. But yeah. Fortunately, I kept this. Uh, knit along up until like mid-March oh, so I can got some time. I can just do a because yeah. I mean one row of the brioche takes forever oh I'm sure and I'm sure are you almost done with that section um I think I'm just gonna go till I'm about because I don't have a ton of this left okay I'm just gonna go till this is about done okay um I mean or okay. or maybe yeah, about, you're not adding any more width no you're done with yeah I'm done width. with okay. that I, you are still supposed to be oh wow even that, with the brioche yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, you're, and so I that was another thing. I was like, okay, so I stopped doing increases because I didn't want it any longer. Than yeah. This. Um, but you are supposed to still be increasing. Wow. Okay. And I already think I have more stitches than the thing is supposed to finish with. <laughs> right. So, oh so instead of it tapering like it's supposed to continue to do, mine's just blunt. Okay. But I mean, I don't care because I didn't right. want it any right. longer. <clears throat> but it is. It's kind of like. Dang it, because I did. I loved this shawl. Every yes. time I'd see it, it's I really beautiful. liked it. And then I just butchered it. I know. You know? I know. And then you just... But not enough to where I would tear it out. I know. Or go back. It's, but then it ruins the feeling. It does. <laughs> see, I felt that way about yeah. the Whitmore sweater, because when I saw that I messed up the lace, I was like... At first, I tried to fudge it. I was like, yeah. okay, because I, I knew it was probably me. I was like, I don't think it's the pattern. I think it's me. I didn't count. And so I kept trying to fudge it, and I could follow what the pattern was. So I was like, okay, I just won't increase there like they uh -huh. did, and I'll just, you know. And then I was just like, no. Yeah, for a test, it, yeah. <laughs> was like, I was like, even though I know it, I, it was my mistake, not her numbers, I want it to look right and yeah. lay right. And, and I even, I did feel kind of bad that I have butchered this since it's for a knit-along, but... I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not test yeah. knitting this for her. Right. It's not her. I don't right. think it was it was me. I just yeah. don't. I don't know exactly how that happened. Um, because like you, as I was going along, I was just, just fat, dumb, and happy, just mm -hmm. knitting away. Mm -hmm. But then... Especially when you've done short, ro short rows lots of times. Exactly. You I feel confused. like... Yeah, I it's, not, work. it's not difficult. No. So you feel like, okay, this is fine. Yeah. And then when you mess up, you're like, what the heck happened? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, and I think yeah. that because I didn't end up utilizing this one, mm -hmm. I really like this yeah, one. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I might, um, I think Carrie gave me this idea. Because I met with Carrie mm -hmm. and I showed her this yeah. and I thought she's going to tell me that no, that did not go. You made the right mm -hmm. decision. No, it goes. It just, to me, it's too close. No, yeah, she, no, I mean, I just thought it was maybe because this is more subdued and this is sparkly and bright, you know, it oh. was just something to me where it just didn't look right. Yeah. She's like, oh no, that would have been so pretty. And See, I, I like, think it would have been, because to me it looks just like this, so to me it would have been same colors, like same stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. To me it this looks different. It doesn't matter now because yeah. I'm not going back no, and putting yeah. it in. yeah. This... Like what you were saying with that, I yeah. love just the gray, yeah. but I was feeling like before I started the brioche, I was really bummed because I was like, there's so much of this gray. It just looks yeah. like a little sweatshirt. Yeah. Even though it's sparkle. Yeah. I just, I was, now that I've got this going on, I definitely I like it I think it goes it together. Better. Yeah. But. It goes um, together. Yeah. It was just, yeah. it's just kind of a, I was really looking forward to this. I contemplated so much about what pattern I was going to do for this totally. new one, and I labored over what yarns yes. to use, and then I go and mess it up. I and know. it's a shawl. I, I know. mean, it's not complicated, I but know. whatever. It's hard, because her shawl, it's a gorgeous shawl. It is a really Like, every time shawl. I look at it, I'm like, I will knit that. Yeah. I will. We'll, we'll figure it's out just, what I did wrong. Yeah. So I think I'm going to add this. When I'm done mm -hmm. brioching, I think I'll add this in and maybe do, like, an I-cord bind off or something, oh, just to... You tie know, it all together just to give it that'd yeah be nice. uh, so that'd be really pretty i'll be happy when i get and i i mean i i could call it whenever it's, yeah but i would like the brioche to be probably about that much more yeah 
Yeah, what what other sections do you have after Nothing. the bridge? Oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so you're almost done. Yeah, I'm okay. almost done. Okay. And I would I probably would have been done if I hadn't made it so much longer than it needed to be. But that is true, but, but you, know, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Did you read any of the nope. comments? Nobody's commented on No, because I kind of think it, I mean, it had to have just been me misreading something okay. or just not keeping track or, yeah, um, yeah. I just yeah. don't know. Bummer. Yeah. Yeah, it usually is our fault. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much always. <laughs> That's why I usually don't question things usually because I'm like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it was me. It, the way the pa I was a little bit confused when it talked about, you know, the first short row that you do in that section, you're knitting seven stitches past. past the last one. And then it says repeat these two rows and then in parentheses three stitches past. So I was, I was a little bit confused as she's saying now, instead of doing seven stitches past, now you're doing three. And that's how I took it. Okay. Because that made the most sense to me. But maybe it is seven. Maybe it is seven. I don't know. Interesting. So, um, we'll huh. see. But if you're doing the posy shawl, you'll have to let me know how you interpret it. Yes, I'd be interested. What did you and, do here? Oh, are you sure? Yep. And then it does say, you know, repeat these two rows, you know, like however many times. and. I mean, I admit it, I didn't keep track because I was thinking I'll know when I've done it enough because I'll only have so many stitches left, oh, you right, know, right, like right. when you're doing a yep. sh shaping, I mean, yep. you just, but it didn't work out that way. Yeah. And so I, uh, do you I, think you didn't do it enough? Do you think that could have been a thing? No, because, um, every time you're going back and forth, you're adding these stitches. Right. And that's how I ended up with so many stitches. Right. Okay. So okay. I think if anything, I think I probably should have been doing knitting seven stitches past the last wrap and turn instead yeah. of three. Yeah. Yeah. That might have been but because that would have given you definitely gotten you further. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I, I mean, Interesting. it really doesn't matter. It's not like I was test, like we talked about, right. I wasn't testing right. it. Other people have knit the pattern successfully and not had a problem. So it's me, not her. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, and, and it didn't ruin it. It's right. not like, you know. Right, right. It's just. It's just giving you a lot more knitting. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more knitting. And I may, you know, I may end up liking the size better. Totally. I always that, like so. bigger. I yeah. mean, to me, it's like the bigger, the better. For, Absolutely. For shawls, for sure. So you're, I mean, I feel bad. I'm just No, gonna, you're fine. I'll okay. add in my own two cents that's when right, I have that's it, right. you know, so. Well, I cast on, <clears throat> I haven't gotten very far, but the mm -hmm. ships and, what is it? The ships and birds, birds and ships, birds and ships by Caitlin Hunter. Mm. And obviously I haven't gotten very far because I haven't even joined it in the round yet, but that's it's okay. kind of a bandana shaped. Nice. Yes. Um, I remember you showing well, that of, last time. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. I was going to do it in different yarn, but mm -hmm. this is the Miss Babs. Sojourn. I got it at her annual sale, mm -hmm. so it was a little bit less expensive. So it's like navy blue? Is that what it is? I think it's black. Oh, okay. It's like, interesting. It's a... It's so soft. It's... It's a black. Okay. Okay. It's, so uh, it's funny. I, I think it's because it's against your folder there that I was like, oh, it looks navy blue to me. Oh, but yeah. but no, it's probably black. That's black. Yeah. yeah. It's like obsidian or something. It's beautiful. But yeah. Mm. It's going to be super soft and I'll love it. Yeah. But I'm not in any hurry. It's just one of those yeah. things. I just wanted to get it cast on so I could work on it. It should go pretty fast if it's just a bandana, you know? It's kind of a long tube almost. Okay. But even at that, it's there's, I think... I think there's an 11 stitch repeat that's lace mm. and the rest of it, once you're in the round, mm -hmm. we knit right now it's back and forth, but okay. um, I'm all, I just have to do this repeat. It's 11 stitch, maybe 10, I think 10 rows. I'm on the last repeat of it and then mm. I'll be joining it in the round. And then I think once I do that, it'll go even yeah, faster. Yeah, oh, so. definitely, definitely. Um, but it's just, I, I like that pattern. I've I like the pattern. Well, the, yarn the yarn is amazing. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. I'd want to knit on it just for the yarn. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, it's, it's funny how you just have these different projects and mm -hmm. you're like, I'm back to having a bunch of projects. Oh my gosh. Um, I have too many. So it's kind of nice because <coughs> then you have <coughs> options. options. Mm -hmm. And since I finished my January Desert Vista Dye Works socks, mm -hmm. like, you know, mm -hmm. a long time ago, mm -hmm. I still have these that I had been working on. I showed them before the Kirby Wordy. Those are so pretty. Oh, I love, it. love that yarn. So this, the colorway is cooler than a pack of peppermints. Mm. So don't ask me, okay? Cooler. Because <laughs> she won't remember it <laughs> next time. <coughs> I've, I've answered that question many times. Yes. Um, 
but she doesn't have it in her shop right now. So she oh, might, it, you know, it's not a given that it'll be there, but it I looks kind of like a springy color. Maybe she'll so bring it back. Awesome. It's I just beautiful. Love it. So then you have to knit a different pair for the desert festival. though. Yes, and in fact, and you can start tomorrow. That tomorrow. Yes, I can't. Mm -hmm. January is finally over. Finally, the longest month ever. <laughs> it's funny how people talk about that. But it's true. I don't know because I yeah. just don't. I feel like I feel like all the months just go by so fast. Even though, well, my mom, I I was talking to her back. She had watched our podcast and she was like, "Yeah, when you said that, she was. I feel like the older I get, the faster the month goes by." She goes, "I don't know if it was just when you guys were little that it Probably. seemed like January was such a long month, but." <clears throat> yeah, because everyone's coming down from the Christmas high yeah. and the back in school, back yeah. in the schedule. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, busy life. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so that's that. So my crochet blanket. Mm -hmm. Pull that baby out. I need to start another one. You do. I can't believe you haven't. I know. It's kind of shocking. It is shocking. I have to decide what hook to do I'm it sorry. on. Because you did yours on I'm a smaller or bigger? No, I think bigger. Maybe three point seven five. Okay, yeah, yours is bigger. Yeah, would you mm -hmm. use? Hmm. Gosh. Don't remember. Two point seven five. And that's what it was because I think, was I think mine was yeah size smaller. I love this thing. Mm hmm. I really do. I do too. It's gorgeous. I'm so glad that we started these again. Isn't it fun. <laughs> oh, it's just so it fun. Is. It's really fun. So let's see. I was. I haven't made a ton of progress on it since our last one. I think because I've been doing that shawl. Yeah. But I did leave the marker, and so yeah. that's where I was. That's what I've done. Nice. Love love these colors yeah when i first started this blanket i was kind of like thinking of scrap yarns like like i don't know i wasn't using great like i just don't feel like it got Not your colors yeah i was just like well just use colors that you don't love You're right you right, know right well why yeah because exactly. once i started using the fun colors then mm -hmm. i was like oh i love this yeah. And it's fun changing, it's you know, really knowing fun. that, you know, yes. right when you're over a, a color, then the you next color starts. And pick a new one. Or yeah. if it's a magic <clears throat> thing that you've done, then it's like a surprise what's oh, coming. you know what? I saw one blanket that somebody was doing, and I thought it was such a great idea. They used one continual color. So they would knit with a mini for uh -huh. like two or three rows, and then they would go back to their main color and do two or three rows, then do the next oh. mini, go back to that same. I think it was white. And so uh -huh. every, you know, four rows, there was two rows of white. And so it just made it really continual. Yeah. You know, and I thought, that's a neat mm, idea. I should too. try that. Yeah. The next one. Well, that's the thing is there's so many things that we, and I'm just, I am, I'm just going to start watching different, when I'm done with this yeah. one, watch some YouTube tutorials mm -hmm. on some different stuff and yeah. just try it. You know, I'll never probably crochet a sweater. Yeah. But I can at Who least knows? do different, uh, different stitches, different. Fact, I have a picture of a thing. I think it's a blanket or a cowl. It's some thing. Yeah. That was crocheted that was neat because it had different mm. different patterning yeah. in it. And I thought, oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah. I would love to know how to do that. Totally. I knocked more yarn on the floor. Well, and I love that we have YouTube because YouTube <laughs> shows you, you don't everything. Have to get it. we'll it's get okay. It later. It's all right. It's all right. It's becoming a habit for me now. <laughs> yeah. It's a good stretch. It's a good stretch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Work out those tight muscles. Oh, that's right. <laughs> But no, I, I love that because I feel like before YouTube, like... I don't know how we did anything. <laughs> I, don't even, I really don't. How did we function? I just don't know. I just feel like it's such a great resource. I mean, it it's the is. best. It's the best. You can totally do anything you want to do. You do. Learn yeah. anything you want to learn. Yeah. And you can watch it 20 billion times if you need to. Pause so. it, put it in slow motion. <laughs> yeah. um, Speed it up, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I love it. I do too. Uh, and isn't it fun when you can just curl it up like that? Because yeah. you feel like it's a real blanket. Yeah, you do. It, yeah. it makes such a difference. It does. When you first start, you're just like, oh my gosh, is this thing ever going to grow? Oh, totally. And then when you get it to a certain size, you're like, oh my gosh, it's And now I have, I have so many, like like all these fun yeah like i don't have any in here that i don't just love exactly. that i can't just wait to use yeah. and look at that a freaking ladybug oh. are you I'm serious so, yes i told you guys we are oh my goodness you want it sure just put on my roses is it dead <laughs> now it's putting its wings up like it? what are you doing to me fly off there it goes. I well, hope they didn't land in the candle. <laughs> <I> just burnt. <laughs> Poor lady back. No, I don't think it landed in the candle. I've been squishing them. I know that's not nice, but I'm so sick of them. Oh my gosh! If you had roses, you'd love them. Like we used to have. You know, remember our house in Gladstone? We had beautiful <laughs> roses. Tons of roses. Yeah. Not a ladybug to be found. Wow. Now we're living now, in a yeah. whole barn. They're everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> I was gonna get my basket really quick. Oh, your my basket of minis. And also get that cool. Curly, curly yarn. Okay, okay. 
So while she's doing that, I'll just, you know, take Talk about me. Isn't Leslie cute? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> um, well, that puts all sorts of pressure on me. Well, what I, I will. I'm going to just talk and talk and talk. So you know Desert Vista Dye Works, Susan, sent this big, huge thing oops, of prize yarn. Look at that. In fact, I haven't even, I haven't, she said for cows, giveaways, or whatever. Or for us to keep. <laughs> I mean, that would fall under whatever, right? <laughs> whatever, yeah. Um, so, thank you so much. And look at this, even. Oh, my goodness. Mini, so mini sets. Oh, my god. I was totally jealous of this, to be honest. I was like, yes. the Zombody Princesses and Zombodies of Oz mini skeins. I was like, beautiful. I want those. I know. <laughs> I mean, we have to. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, you guys ain't getting Jack. No, uh, I'm just kidding. We never do that. So, no, we're totally going to do a striped sock knit along. Not right now. Okay. But because we've got this other thing going on. Yeah. That we need to be successful at. <laughs> Finishing a knit along. Uh, oh. But we are going to do that. And okay. it can coincide with your Desert Vista. Mm -hmm monthly one but you don't have to do desert vista i know there's a lot of awesome self-striping yarn out there that so um but anyway so we'll have we'll have one of these that can be a prize for that and i think we will yes. definitely do just a plain old desert vista dye works giveaway yeah and yeah, we could do that sure, now so sure. you could go to her website she has tons of amazing of amazing yarns but i will tell you guys because i know it's a little bit confusing like if you see I don't know if this will actually... Oh, well, I can show you what I bought mm -hmm. and then tell you. So this is what I'm going to do for February because I love it. Pretty. It's Veruca Zombody. Mm. And so you look at that mm -hmm. and in it, she has these like deep, these, her Zombody colorways mm -hmm. that is like this. Well, anyway, what I'm trying to say here is... <laughs> If you're new to Desert Vista Dye Works and you're just looking at the skein, I would highly recommend she mm -hmm. goes through a lot of work to show what that yarn's going to look like yep. knit up. Yep. And I think that that's important when you're talking about these Zombody mm -hmm. colorways because you might not like that. Right, right. Um, if you want a more traditional, well, it shows like on here, mm -hmm. her more traditional stripes or more traditional stripe yarn are just, you know, solid, solid colors. But then her Zombody ones typically will have these colorways in between solid stripes. A little stripes. bit of variegation. Exactly. Yeah, stripes. Mm -hmm. And I like it. Me too. Yeah. But some people um, just want solid are just stripes. confused by that. And they're like, wait a minute, I didn't know I was getting that. And I'm only saying that because it came up in a conversation. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, you know what, if you're not used to shopping her website, mm -hmm. don't just look at this, the picture of mm -hmm. the skein. Go to that skein. She's got great yep. artwork Samples. that shows it. Knit. I mean, it's she really, I love what she goes through yes. to do all that. Yeah. Because well, I know what you're getting. I definitely do better when I can see something, um, you know, That's like really pretty. Uh, just seeing that. I mean, yeah, okay, I get there's going to be those colors, but right. I have to see it. Yes, like, yes. Yeah. It's nice to see it. It is. If you can. And then the other thing, too, with her, we've talked about it before, is any of her colorways you can get. And this is not a paid advertisement. I'm just saying that mm -hmm. <laughs> you can get it on worsted, DK, sparkle, mm -hmm. regular. So yeah, she dies to order. She dies right? to order. She so. she does have a few that are ready to go, but for the most part, it's dyed to order. So yeah. you have to plan ahead a little bit. But yeah, it'll take a little bit of time to get it. I prefer that because mm -hmm. then I can get yeah, sparkle. Yeah, you yeah you get what you want. Yeah. And so that's what I order. I ordered this one and. I do have a few skeins stored at Carrie's, mm -hmm. but I knew I wasn't going to get to Carrie's before mm -hmm. February. So I got that one and Zombody's Hanging the Lights. Oh. And that one came with a mini skein for heels Fun. and toes. Fun. And then she sent me some, because I wanted to buy mm -hmm. a skein of the decompost or whatever oh. she calls it, the Zombody mm -hmm. variegated stuff for heels and toes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, but and so I was trying to send her a picture of which one I really liked. Well, she ended up just sending me these, and then I pretty. guess I can decide which one I... But I do. Yeah. I love them all. They're so pretty. Beautiful. And um, beautiful. So, yeah. So we'll open up the giveaway, and you'll get to choose which of these can be your prize. Because why yeah. not? Yeah. Yeah. Go to, you know, do the normal. Go to our website. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you like. It's your washer. 
<laughs> yeah, we have the dog snoring. We have the washing machine. The usual, going. the usual mm-hmm. background noise. Yeah. Or, um, yeah. Like the soundtrack to the Naughty yeah. Networks. <laughs> dog snoring. Oh, oh, it used to be sirens at my sure. house. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. yeah, the river was right there. Yeah. Yeah. So this okay. is the stuff, but I don't have the tag on. I should have okay. grabbed the other skein, but that's anyway. That's okay. That's what it looks like. I love the color. Uh, good color. It's kind of like what pinky. you're wearing. Yeah. 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 Love it. But uh, yeah, there's just um, no give to it at all. That's not good. So when you cast on, it's just your first row, especially, is really tight to get your stitches. And it, it reminds just... me of the kind of yarn that, like, used to get at Michaels. Yeah. Just yeah. Wash it. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, like. Yeah. I mean, I'm just surprised that they did something. Yeah. I know. Like that. I know. And I'm going to go, I need to, I keep telling myself I'm going to do this and haven't done it yet, but I want to go on Ravelry, look up this yarn, see what people have knit with it, because I'm curious. Wouldn't like a stuffed rabbit or something be cute? <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Stuffed animal would be For really all of cute. your stuffed animal needs. Yeah. That would be super cute. Yeah. Um, but, so I don't know. I'm curious. I'm just but curious to see what they've give, done. But if it doesn't give and it's not fun to work with. That's the thing. Then... That's the thing. It's very hard to see your stitches because they're so kinky that you're like trying to see especially if you have to knit and purl it's harder to see what stitch was purled you know and what yeah. stitch was knit like it's very hard to see your stitch definition so yeah i'm gonna look i need to do that today because i'm curious what people have knit with it and i have two skeins of it so i'm like i'd like to do something with it uh, maybe if it was on a bigger gauge you could see your stitches better maybe. and it would be easier to work with but. i just think that stuff's not easy to work with i think any yeah. yarn that doesn't give at all yeah. is really hard to work yeah. with whereas like when i got this stuff i was like oh my gosh it's, it's so, so nice it's to work so with nice. It. nice it's got yarn. some nice nice stretch and it's super soft but anyway so this is what i did when i was telling you guys i put all oh my this my is all my minis gosh. i mean this is my magic cake that. yeah that's my magic cake that i did oh my gosh yeah. so i like took all my that yarn and like awesome. turned it into I can't remember what wow. my what my credentials were for, or what my why I did this. Your like cre- um, oh. I don't know if it was too small, if it was like less than less 10 than or something, oh then I put gosh. it in here. I don't remember. And I love but, that you caked it instead yeah. of just it being in a ball. Yeah. Of, wow. Yeah, I just kept magic or not yeah, magic knotting it and then yeah. just kept going with it. So so that's huge. So I could start a crochet blanket with How that. fun. I just love yeah. looking at that. Yeah, it's fun. And then my basket's just full of all my minis i put most of them all into balls um some of them aren't though but um but yeah so these are all my minis these are ones you did that you put into balls for me and that's a little big so i just left it okay i figured that could be heels or it, toes yeah or exactly but yeah so it felt good to do that because i feel like now it's all in one spot yeah baskets full of them and they're um, just all there so if i, I do want a blanket, clear basket not ooh. like a plastic thing yeah. i don't want some plastic thing i a want clear basket. well remember i had a nice glass thing that i had minis on yes. and nina knocked it off and yes. it shattered and i had to throw away all those yeah. minis remember that guys yes yeah i remember that yeah just, uh, uh, something like because i i want to see they're so pretty yeah you know they are. But and glass is kind of scary. <laughs> well, have you seen those glass lamps that you can put oh, yeah. things in the base? But then that's kind of a pain because then if you want to get it out, right. you got to disassemble your lamp. Well, and you can only hold so many. Unless it had a too. little door. Oh, that'd be if perfect. it had a little door, like that'd a little nice. lantern, that would be cute. That would be perfect. Yeah. That'd be perfect. Somebody I needs to create that. Please do. Mm-hmm. Then give me one. Right. That'd be awesome. Because I can't buy anything right now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. So, oh, gee. <laughs> um, so I, that crochet hook is coming today. And then also mm-hmm. a bag from, I mean, I kind of don't want to, you know, the one, because I sent you pictures yes, yes, from yes, the prickly yes. owl. Mm-hmm. It's coming today, but you know, since we live so far away and our mail yes. comes whenever I couldn't like wait for the mail yes. before I came down here, but yes. it's, so, well, I have to back up. I bought this other bag. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's this bag by Peg and All that yeah. I want, but it's two hundred and fifty dollars. Mm. And I just I have a couple bags like that yeah, right now. I, I'm just yeah. I'm not saying I've never spent that on right. I'm just saying right. that I'm not doing that. Yeah, right. yeah. So I went on Etsy mm-hmm. and was kind of looking for something comparable, and I I narrowed my search to where I wanted it to come from the United States. Mm-hmm. Not to be discriminatory, mm-hmm. but I wanted it made in the United States. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
And so I picked out this one. I was so excited. They have this little tag on it that you have, you could personalize, or if you didn't choose something, they would put their brand name on it, you know, Oh, whatever. interesting, okay. So I did KKW. Nice. Just because I didn't want their name. Yeah. But I didn't want like MRV or anything. So right. I did that. Well, when it shipped, and I got the shipping information, I saw that it was actually coming from Malaysia. Oh, wow. So I wasn't very happy about yeah. that. But I thought, well, maybe it's just some sweet Malaysian lady right, that's right, making bags. Right. Yeah, yeah. Not right. some sweatshop right, that's right. churning out right. crap. Right, yeah, yeah. Although it's probably going to take you forever to get it. Oh, I got it. Okay, all right. What did you think? I'm not happy. <laughs> oh. Well, look at it. It reminds me of like a Dollar Tree yeah. bag. Is it leather? It's canvas. Okay. okay. But check out that inside. It's just like, uh, okay, before I totally diss it, why don't you just touch it and feel it and tell yeah. me honestly what you think. For one thing, the strap to me just reminds me of, like, junk. Yeah. But I don't, uh, let's. I don't know leather. I mean, that's the thing. I don't know quality, like, is it quality leather? What is quality canvas. leather? It's canvas. No, I know. This is leather, though. Well, whatever. Even yeah. if it wasn't, even if it was vegan leather, I'm fine right. with that. Right, right. But th you can do better than yeah, but I mean, it doesn't look badly made. Like, you know what I mean? Like things look sewn correctly. I'm not a sewist, but I mean, they don't look like crooked or stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Am I being too hard on them? How much did you pay for it? That's what I want to know. I'd have to look it up. Because that to me would tell me, is it worth that or not? Well, okay, but I'd rather, if I'm going to get something inexpensive right yet it seems cheap right i'd rather not have it right no you I know agree with i you. mean if you I can get something quality for a decent price that's one i thing. just feel like this isn't really a great um like knitting bags i feel like it's kind of it's small. way too small yeah it's way that's, too small that would be my main complaint i and don't think it i don't think it looks poorly made maybe but, i was just um, being a bitch but well i mean i think when you're expecting something and then it comes and it's not what you think yeah that then thing you're is so narrow but even yes. if i wanted to use it as a purse you can't yeah. even put a wallet in it yeah i tried yeah no i definitely it's, think it's not a great size it's not um and this the canvas i wonder if it'll get softer with use but if you're not going to use it then it's not going to get softer so. um 55 dollars. okay and it was free shipping okay um, my whole thing is just like you said, I just don't want to think that it's made in some sweatshop. That's my big thing. Exactly. I, I would prefer to know that it's made fair, yeah. fair whatever, is that fair trade? What's that Whatever. Called? And I guess, made. you know, if you're <clears throat> thinking, well, if you paid that much, you know, if you're, $55 isn't cheap, cheap but it's right. not a lot of money. Right. And so, you know, yeah. what do you expect? Right. Well, I, when I'm ordering it from an Etsy shop from the United States, I I expect it to be yeah. handcrafted and not something that looks like it came from the Dollar Tree. Yeah. I definitely think this looks better than Dollar Tree. <laughs> if I found this at Dollar Tree, I'd be pretty happy. Would you? Yeah, because I mean, it's well sewn. Like, that's okay. the thing. It's not crappy made. It's It looks well done. Like, they did a good job. Um, but if it's not something that you were expecting, I mean, I can understand, like, to me, these seem a little narrow. Chitsy. A little narrow. They seem chintzy, don't they? Think so. I don't think they look chintzy. Okay. Because I like leather. I like leather. I, I think like it looks leather good, too. But, it just but I just chintzy. and I think it looks well done. But I understand if it's not what you were expecting. It's definitely too small, though. I think. Yeah. I mean, you could do socks in it. You could I do don't socks, know but and it's got a bunch of pockets. A which ton of pockets, you but can't almost too many. Because if you use these pockets, you wouldn't be able to right. fit anything in it. Yeah, it's almost too many pockets it's for that size of the bag. For this yeah. bag. And yeah. Yeah, I'm just really disappointed in yeah. it. And yeah, so I'm, uh, you notice I'm not saying who it came from. Mm -hmm. I did give them a two star review, mm -hmm. and I should have just given them one. But I didn't. I wasn't trying to be right. Right. You know, I just it really just to me now. What you should do is look at the pictures. I mean, does it look yeah, like what you think what you're you getting? Think. I mean, it doesn't not look like the picture. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of, um, it's deceiving. And if I had taken out a measuring tape. Yeah. I, but there's no way that looks like that, does it? Well, she's really small. She's tiny. <laughs> she's like a size one. Uh, I mean, it looks like, it looks like what she got. Right. But, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could no, say No, I would rather you be honest. I mean, they give you the measurements. I know, so. I know. I don't know. I think the pictures make it look a whole lot better. 
Well, I think it looks the same, but I just think, I just think, I mean, they did everything they could as okay. far as like they gave you the measurements, they showed you the inside. Show that picture of the inside. Yeah. I mean, they show you the inside. But then look at this. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess that's the problem with online shopping <laughs> yeah. is if you don't know what you're getting, right. you do stand the potential to be disappointed. And I yeah. guess I shouldn't blame it on the company. Um but I know what you mean. I mean, it's kind of buyer's remorse. Like you kind of wish totally you hadn't buyer's. bought it. I, I think that's absolutely. Yeah, I think I that's more it. probably what you're feeling. Well, then I, I shouldn't. Like, I shouldn't give them a bad review. Yeah, because I feel like the quality looks good. I mean, right. it looks like the picture. I, I don't, should probably change my review then. Well, but I just really felt like I've done that before. Where I bought something and when I get it, I'm like, this is not not the what I was that not I was what hoping. I was thinking. Yeah, it was. But um, you know. So shame know. on me for giving him a bad. It just, I don't know. It just, like, this just seems so. I think it's a little bit thinner, this, that, that fabric inside, than what we're used to. We're used to more of a thicker yeah, canvas. Yeah, maybe that's part of it. Maybe. Um, and then just the fact that it's so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Open up. <laughs> It's very narrow. It look is, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What could you possibly put well, in there? Well, that's the thing. They don't call it a knitting bag. I think it's no. definitely more of just a personal I little, I know, but even as a know, purse, like, yeah. and I don't know, because I thought, okay, fine, I'll use it as a purse, right. because I, I always love a right. purse. I don't, this strap to me just seems so, like. Yeah, it seems too long. Well, I guess they, if you, if you want a crossbody, then right. you could make it bigger. Yeah. But even, like, even crossbody, you don't need all this. No, I no, mean, I think that's on. a little too long. And then what do you do with this? Right, right. Just, I guess you can cut it. I mean, you could. You could cut it to what you want. Might as well cut it up. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone's interested in this bag, I'll make it. Hello, $80. No. <laughs> $20, $25. 20. I would be thrilled if I got $25 yeah, out of yeah, it cause, yeah. Um, yeah. because it's I know I'm in the it's market. Useless. I'm in the market for a fanny pack right now, which I never thought I'd ever say that again. But, really? Um, yeah, because for Paris, I need a oh, okay. fanny pack. I guess pickpocketers are pretty common, okay. and so. Well, I actually have a couple things that might work for you, you? that aren't as bad as a fanny okay. pack, but good. Okay, I'll pull them out. I will look because like one that I used for Disney or something, and yeah, um, yeah, I'll yeah. pull up, and no obligation, but if you yeah, want to yeah. borrow them yeah. or whatever, yeah. Um, no, I definitely because uh, did I tell you we're not going to. Um, we're going to Paris, and then we are not going to Austria. We're going to London instead. Oh, okay. It got switched. Yeah, hmm. because Emmy's teacher, she called me one night, and she was like, so are you okay with, like, because she's going to go on to Austria to visit her daughter. I would love to go to Austria. I would, too, and that was what the plan was. But then she was going to stay in Austria, and I was going to bring the kids home, the two kids. There's oh, only two okay. Kids. But she said, I'm checking flights right now, and it looks like you would have to fly back to Paris then from Paris to Germany or something like we'd have to I'd have to Love get to the to kids Germany. off a couple times and uh -huh. get the kids back on yeah I've never flown internationally I'm like that freaks me out I don't want to have to be responsible for two kids I don't know any of the languages whereas her teacher right. knows all the languages yes, we're going that... to I'm like I know they speak English a lot of them do but I just don't want to have to deal with that and so she was like it's okay she goes if you don't want to do that then we're gonna go to Paris and then we'll go to London and I was like and she said from London you will fly right to I can't remember. It's just That's one. It's so exciting. What yeah. is that? Uh, May, end of May. It's coming up. So I went and got our passports. That's did so that. exciting. Or at least put in for our passports. You know what? I had a dream, this nightmare last night yeah. that I was lost in China. Oh, literally. Wow. I was in China. I was at this place. I didn't know how to speak Chinese. <laughs> I don't. You didn't magically know how to speak it. And like people were not helpful. No. And I was really scared. Yeah. And I mean, it was just so weird. And I woke up in a fog. Like, wow. you know when you have one of those dreams that you wake up in the middle of or, yeah. or something? It might not have been in the middle, but it's yeah. still like really in your head. Yeah. And even though it makes absolutely no sense, you know, there's, I will never go to China. Yeah. yeah. I could stake my life on that. <laughs> I will never go to China. That's never going to happen to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I still, I mean, it was like, you're terrified. It was just a weird dream. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I know I it's, I'm starting to get a little excited about the trip, but I'm still. It'll, I told my husband it'll be very interesting to see if I come home and go, oh my gosh, I want to do that again. Yeah. Or if I'll come home and go, mm, that's that okay. was fun. that was good. Glad but to I'm be home. not yeah, yeah not wanting to do that anytime soon. There's I don't so know. many. There's criteria that I would love to travel under. Yeah. And it would take a lot more money than exactly. I'll ever have. <laughs> exactly. So that's I'm, I think that's I think that's probably what I'm thinking because I'm like I told I was talking to Emmeline the other day and I was like you know my idea of a vacation is like sitting by a warm beach. 
with uh, my knitting, relaxing, uh, getting yeah, getting manicures, go, go, go. pedicures, getting you know massages. That to me, drinking a, a yummy fruity drink, like that's a vacation to me. Uh -huh. So this, yeah, we're gonna be walking like five miles a day. We have to wear comfy shoes. We have to like. I would prefer that yeah. over the <clears throat> sitting by the pool. In my younger years, I would have liked the sitting by the pool. That's what I used to do. Okay, yeah. But yeah, now I'd prefer yeah. to go see, go see stuff, especially historical sites. And well, stuff. I think I'd like that inter intermingled in. Yeah, if you're doing you know, too much. Yeah, but not. Yeah. I mean, we'll the constant going, go 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 yes. is. That's what I'm, I'm not looking forward to. You yeah, gotta come because, home and recover. Yes. But you feel like you've gone all that way. You right. gotta do all you gotta the stuff. You gotta see everything and... you can. Yep. Yeah. Because I just wanna sit and drink, you know, wine and, you know, that's what I wanna do. Get a flask. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Take it with me wherever I go. Yeah. yeah, I just want to enjoy the good wine. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to end on a better note of community service. Oh, good. Okay. Um, I mean, I already showed my Desert Vista. Yes, that was, those that were was good purchases. Good. Yes. No regret there. But <clears throat> So I bought these note cards from, mm -hmm. I had it written down. Where did it go? Fable and Forest on mm. Etsy. I don't yes. even know how I came across it. But they're just her own artwork done on to, nice. you know, little deer oh, I already used one of them. so there's two of everything cute. and I was so glad because I might <clears throat> frame some of these yeah. in my new room when I have yeah. my new knitting, knitting room I just thought they were so cute Very and cute. I'm always fascinated by people that can do this kind I of stuff know. because I, I can't do a stick figure it's and, amazing uh, that's really cute with the frog it's cute mushrooms very cute. fun um like a castle or something. Oops, I'm talking quiet. Uh oh. Speak up. <laughs> speak, speak up. up. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Oh, the castle's really cute. Isn't that adorable? Oh. And she had whales. She had all sorts of stuff. And I, I mean, I loved pretty much everything she had, but I just bought this set because yeah, it was that's a set really and I fun. Really liked it. Love the colors in it, the muted colors. That was yeah. Really pretty. And then my, okay, so CJ, mm -hmm. who is the one that sent me the, um, Advent this yep. last year. Mm -hmm. She had messaged me and asked if I knew where to get sparkly minis. Like, what? Mm. what's my source for sparkly yarn? Yeah. And so I told her, you know, like, I love, um, I mean, we all know I love barnyard knits right. and stuff. But Arkansas yarn, yep. she's great mm -hmm. with sparkle. Yes. But so I just decided to go on. I just, you know, as a service to her, right. I went on to Etsy <clears throat> and just Googled, uh, or not Googled, but looked up sparkly sparkle minis or something yeah and this shop came up Ooh. and you know of course i had to get a few of course of and course. she's she sent it really quick packaged nicely nice. with a nice card fun so i have to tell you who this is um yeah. a chick that dents oh nice cute on etsy i'll have a link cute. but i haven't even opened it yet because mm. it just came yesterday but just a nice cute card fun with um you know a note thinking yeah. for the order and such fun. but oh my gosh when i saw these colors i was like i have to get these yeah i, I mean i they're so, so and this is what i'm saying like when you get something like this you're thinking i don't want to just put these in a blanket i know but you love your blanket you love your blanket so why, and it's something you'll have forever starling <clears throat> Look at that beautiful those are totally your colors i They're mean like all of those all minis, of these like, i know are perfect i they'd be so nice together that i mean gorgeous I was, i'm not sure that they'll be a blend. they might have to be something else yeah moonbeam no they're all perfect for you they are that's crazy teak mm. so pretty and you can really see the sparkle which is nice yeah you can they're not as sparkly as some mm -hmm. Um, but, but you can see this. But they're not that obnoxious sparkle right. either. Right. I love this one. That's beautiful. Golden rosebud. Mm. I like that one. That one's gorgeous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, Nighthawk. Nighthawk. Yes. Beautiful. That's really pretty too. Deeply darker. I think that's what that says. Yeah, I think so. We think it says deeply darker. That's really pretty. Yeah, it's in. I love when you see yarns that you don't see every day, like this one. I I don't think I've ever seen a full skein look like that. Um, like it's really pretty. Primrose. I mean, because how could I have? I, I could not. It was like, how many of these do I need? But I just kept seeing them, and yeah. they're open water. Hmm. 
That's beautiful. Oak. So pretty. They, they're just gorgeous. Yeah, they're beautiful. I love them. Beautiful. So. Yeah. Very great, fun. Great purchase there. I yeah. mean, that would be a fun a cow mm -hmm. or a... I just don't know. They're so pretty. But you're right. I mean, the blanket, why do I think that I, I wouldn't know. put them in a blanket? To me, I love my blankets way more than I love a cow. Right? I know. Like, to me, a blanket is it's something true. I'm going to cuddle up with for years. Never goes out of style. No. Although someday it'll be at Goodwill, probably. <laughs> and even when you're not wearing it, it's still something that you can yep, see. Decorate and it's your pretty. house. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, maybe I should just mm -hmm. blanket them away. Yeah. They're pretty. Or you could save them for, like, if you wanted to do a dark colored blanket, you know, with just pops of brighter. Like, I feel like those are all very yeah, warm. I mean, it's just such a pretty bouquet. It is. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. So pretty. Um, and then we have our, we have a prize mm -hmm. winner for mm -hmm. that giveaway. That's beautiful. But I think as far as all my other stuff that I brought, that's, that's it. Nice. Good, good. Okay. Now I feel nice like I should have, I totally bashed that poor bag company. And <laughs> no, I feel bad because, I mean, I hear what you're saying. I just, I feel like, you know, it, it looks like the picture. I they suppose, gave you the measurements. I know. You get what you pay for. Yeah. For, although, I mean, to be fair, mm -hmm. the bag um, that I have coming from Prickly mm -hmm. Owl, now I, I haven't had my hands on it mm -hmm. yet, but I think it's going to be way better quality. Yeah. And um, yeah. same price range. Yeah. So... It just depends on what you're looking for. Yeah. I mean, I think to each his own. Some people might like that other one a lot better. And, you know, I don't know. But I feel like they gave you every option to, you know. To deter. To see okay. it. So. You know. I mean, because <laughs> okay. to me, I don't like those shops that only show you one picture. And yeah. that's it. Oh, I, mean, I know. Like, I don't buy that. It's like they actually showed you the they inside did. and the measurements. and. I still thought it was going to be better. I Yeah. But I guess that was me being delusional. I don't know. Because, okay, so just, I don't want to beat a dead horse. Yes, yeah. Oh, but we'll beat a dead bag. Yeah, yeah there you go. If you had seen those pictures, mm -hmm. and then that showed up in the mail, mm -hmm. would you be disappointed, or would you feel like, yeah, this is what I want? I would be disappointed because it's not bigger, but then I would blame myself because they should gave you the measurements. So okay. I could have I could have gone, okay, it's only going to be this big. Because uh, that's the only thing I would have been bummed about. Like, okay. to me, it's not big enough to really be a, a good knitting Anything, bag. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I would want to use it for as a knitting bag. And so to me, I'd be disappointed, but then it would go back on me because I'm like, well, they gave me the measurements. I should have known, you know. So Because you don't find the chat, the straps to be kind of... Well, they showed the pictures of the straps. They showed, you know... I think... Okay, I mean, I'm you know not... I mean? I'm just saying. Yeah. I think that this yeah. the pictures make the straps look better quality. Yeah, I don't know. You don't think so. I think they look like the pictures, okay. but I don't know. But that's what I mean. I don't know differences between leather quality. Like, I don't know what makes some leather better quality than others. You know what I mean? So I'm not a good judge of like... I'm being too picky. I don't know. No, I, I mean, that's my feeling. but I get what you mean. It's like, I've done that before. I've bought stuff and been like, you know, wish it was bigger, mm -hmm. you know, wish it was, yeah. you know. And if, you know, like <clears throat> I said, and I've done it before where I have actually pulled out tape mm -hmm. measures yeah. and stuff it doesn't i have it's hard to, to visualize i'm not it, good yeah. at that and yeah. that's the hard part with shopping that's not online their fault. no i yeah. mean i have a hard time with that too because yeah. most of the time i'm not going well i don't think i've ever taken a tape measure and been like oh okay this is how big it's going to be yes yeah. i know what to expect i've never done that and i should but um so yeah i can't fault them on that but yet i might yeah. have to amend my review and and i i mean i admit part of it bugged me that it came from malaysia yeah and it's not because i don't like malaysia right, i don't know anything right. about malaysia right right but right no one's reached out to me yeah and said i'm sorry you're not happy and I, that's not i'm not saying that they should have i'm right. just saying if it was a just a nice little lady in malaysia making bags right i think she, yeah i would have heard but yeah. i suspect it's probably yeah not that scenario yeah. no that would and that probably me. bugs me more than yeah anything, i think so. i agree with you there yeah you want to know that people are getting paid what they're worth and yeah yeah definitely and i guess i should have known better free shipping but again i didn't know it was free shipping from malaysia right you that's know. kind of shocking yeah that free shipping but then they just put it into the price of the bag so and, so that's what it is, and, you know. Yeah, so you know that bag costs pennies to make. Yeah, probably. Right? Yeah. Probably, yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely a sweatshop. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we've talked about that long enough. Sorry. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's okay. 
Yeah. So, what else is going on? <laughs> You're supposed to have a good note. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. Cards. Well, okay, a good note is that, uh, so our last home fell mm-hmm. through. Yep. But we went down to Albany to Paul, a place that has Palm Harbor manufactured mm-hmm. homes mm-hmm. and went into this one that I, I, when I saw it online, I was mm-hmm. like, I don't like it as much as the one that we were going to get, yeah. but I need to go look at it right. and see. Yeah. Because there was a place in McMinnville, the mm-hmm. um, Skyline, I think, factory, mm-hmm. that we could have gotten that one okay. that we were going to get yep. through. So we went, and I actually ended up liking this one better. Mm, nice. So at the end, I'll stick in the video. If you watch my husband's videos, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the few of you that follow his, yeah. um, he showed it, but for the rest of you if you want to see the house that we're hopefully getting yes um we've got our permits kind of rolling along we've got a placement permit number so we can order the house okay um the guy that we're working with is not been like johnny on the spot mm-hmm. which is really annoying because yeah. i want a house mm-hmm. i really want a house i'm yes. really sick of this yes um, I know someday we're going to look back on it and it's going to be like, oh, that we'll was laugh. not a big deal. Oh, ha ha, remember that? <laughs> remember when you'd sit down to go to the bathroom and freeze your butt off because yeah. literally your yeah. toilet was yeah. freezing? Yeah. But um, just, yeah. it'll, it, it, there's just so many things about having a house that's yes. nice yes. Yes. and yes. not an RV slash pole barn yeah. loft. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I mean, we have a home. It's yes. not like we're living out on the streets. Right. But right. yeah, it'll be really nice to have a house. And, Sure. So when someone's not kind of playing into that sense of urgency mm-hmm. that I'm feeling, yes. Yes. I take I take offense to it. I don't understand. Do you not understand how damn important this <laughs> That's is? Right. Our lives and yours right. really hinge on this. That's right. <laughs> so anyway. I get yeah. it. I yeah. that would be tough. Yeah. That would be tough for sure. Um, for sure. It's a stressor. It is. And then just this constant rain kind of mm-hmm. slows some progress. Yeah, because if it was nice out, I think you'd be outside more. You'd be, you know, you, you'd But be I mean, in... even just able to do the work that we have to do mm-hmm. to have things done. Yeah. You know, you can't do everything when it's right. pouring yes. rain and the field is soggy and the, yes. you know. Yes. But, um, well, Michael's still keeping himself busy, it looks like. So. Oh, yeah, making videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so funny. Yeah. That's no, awesome. I mean, he's always got stuff to do. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, he's busy. He makes me feel very lazy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was thinking about that when I watched his, in one of his last videos. I was like, oh, my gosh, what's Michelle doing right now? Like, I would be feeling that way too. I'd be like, I need to get out there and like, oh, yeah, you feel do like something. A, yeah. Like, and I do go out and help him. It's kind of funny because when he does make these videos, he'll he'll be recording if his mom happens to be out right. there. But he's never recorded when I'm helping. <laughs> so it's like I do get out there and yes, help. I've shoveled yes. gravel. Yeah. I've you know yep. I've done the Unloaded stuff. Pellets. Yeah, and, he yep. just doesn't uh, typically show that, which is fine. I don't need yeah, you know. That's uh, funny. Uh, it's just funny. Mm. But um, anyway, yeah. so. That's funny. Well, you'll be doing more of the interior work, especially once the house gets delivered. Oh, totally. And yeah. Moving and unpacking Then I'll, and I'll have tons to do <clears throat> Totally. Yeah. I'm the inside person. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited for you. It'll be nice. So That's this nice. is kind of a thing. I wasn't going to talk about it until it actually happens mm-hmm. because, you know, there's been a lot of talk back and forth. Yeah. Um, yeah. But Renata is going to go into the Marines. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel about that? You know, um, okay, let me just let me just say that if you have anything bad to say about mm-hmm. your kid going in the military, mm-hmm. don't say it to me. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not saying that to be mean. Yeah. But I mm-hmm. don't get to decide what my daughter does. Right, right. And I don't want to hear about the nightmares. Right, right. The yeah. bad stuff. Yeah, yeah. And if, if you're if you're fairly, I know I've talked about this in years past, but I tried to go into the Air Force mm-hmm. when I was younger. Yeah. I was medically disqualified at the 11th hour mm-hmm. because of my, you know, one arm so shorter silly. than the other, because it was broken and it healed mm-hmm. that way. Um, I'm kind of one of those people that, and this isn't a, this is not a judgment thing, but I feel like if you can serve yeah. your country, yeah. you should. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but... When it's your kid, yeah. of course, it's a totally. little different. Totally. I'm not scared like, oh, my gosh, she's going to go to war. I, it's mm-hmm. more like, well, when people in the restaurant yell at her, she cries. Right. So I'm not sure yeah. how it's going to yeah. go with the drill instructor, you know. Yeah. But 
I think that it'll be really good for her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think that um, I'll be super... I mean, I'm already proud of my kids. Oh, totally. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I won't even be able to look at an American flag without crying. Right, Because totally. I barely can now. Totally. And totally. Um, yep. the, her going away to South Carolina or whatever mm-hmm. for boot camp, I can't imagine, like, mm-hmm. how I'll even be able to breathe with her being that yeah, far away. Yeah, yeah. But, of course, I will. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm... I think mm-hmm. all things considered, mm-hmm. I think it's going to be a really, yeah. of course there's negatives, I know yeah. that, but I think it'll be a really good opportunity for mm-hmm. her. Um, she's really smart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's got a good head on her shoulders. Mm-hmm. She just needs a little direction. Right. She just needs a little push. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, she's making decent money. It's mm-hmm. not like she's doing anything bad. Right. The greatest thing is she'll get rid of her motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. And she's already stopped doing that jewel that nicotine or whatever vaping yeah oh okay but i mean she was doing the one that was like cigarettes oh you know okay. is okay. it nicotine i've never i haven't heard i don't know it's the bad stuff okay uh, and i'm not i'm not a prude i used to smoke marlboros right. so i know right. what cigarettes are yeah. but yeah whatever it is that's in the i get confused yeah i don't even but know i know that they're very bad for you mm-hmm. and um so yeah. she stopped doing that because she started working out again and yeah, stuff, and she yeah. knew that that was affecting her lungs. So yeah. right there, it's a yeah. win-win. Oh, Get yeah. rid of that motorcycle. Yeah. She's not doing that anymore. Yeah. I think it'll be good. Yes. Um, good. I, I don't think she's looking at making it a career. Right, yeah. I mean, you never know. Yeah, but yeah. No, I mean, I do. I, I think it's a great opportunity. Mm-hmm. I know that it'll come at a cost, mm-hmm. blood, sweat, and tears. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But everything does. No, totally. And um, mm-hmm. I do. I think, I think it'll be good for her. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm also like, yeah. I mean, I will cry. Oh, completely. So, completely. Just totally. so you know, I'll probably totally. cry on totally. here at yes. some point yes. talking yes. about. Yes. But. Um, yeah, for sure. For sure. But she'll be in good hands. I mean, good hands as far as like she will have direction. She will have leadership. She'll yeah. have. And I know. mean, she's got a good, she's, she's always, she's, mm-hmm. she excels in common sense, even though mm-hmm. she has a motorcycle and she smokes. Right. Um, right. But you know, right. I mean, she's really, mm-hmm. she's a smart kid yeah. with a lot of potential. Yeah. She just, yeah. you know, she didn't go to college right after mm-hmm. high school. Mm-hmm. Um, and she kind of settled into working. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, that's yeah. what I did. Yeah. yeah. But um, it, she knows that that's not what she wants to do with the rest of her life. Right. And so, yeah, I think, yeah. you know, Definitely. It, it could open up some opportunities Totally, and I for think her. while she's still maturing and growing up, this will really give her that yeah. direction and that maturity. And, and that, you know, she'll be 21 in March. When yeah. I was going in, I was 17, yeah. almost 18. Yeah. But um, So she knows what she's doing. I mean, yeah, I mean, she's a little bit uh, older, older more than, mature. yeah, so, mm-hmm. you know, it's exciting. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited to Good see what her. happens. Good for her. That's cool. Yeah. What made her pick Marines over any of the other ones? Um... Just a variety of things. She's gone in and she did go talk to an Air Force recruiter mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and um, a couple different Marines mm-hmm. ones. Um, she does have a boyfriend that's going in mm-hmm. the Marines. Okay. But that's not... Is he going the same time as her? Or um, he be... Well, no. He's already been sworn in. He'll okay. He'll be going sooner. Okay. Probably. But, and, I mean, they'll go to different places. Yeah, it's, right. Um, yeah. I think she had talked about the military a little over a year ago. Mm-hmm. And then waffled yeah. and didn't do it mm-hmm. and so i think with him going in and stuff i think it just kind of mm-hmm. made her revisit it yeah and yeah. i mean i was supportive of it then yeah yeah, um, yeah. but i know it's not going to be all mm-hmm. roses and right you know there's mm-hmm. there's going to be some times where she wishes she oh yeah wasn't doing it. oh yeah but, definitely definitely no, but you will always be proud. I mean, my dad was always Army, and I just remember I would cry all the time when he was in it, growing yeah. up as a kid, because I was oh, just yeah. so stinking proud of him and, like, yeah. the things he would do. I remember when he went over to, oh, gosh, when was that huge hurricane several years ago, years ago? Um, uh, Test my memory. Oh, it was uh, New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, oh, that huge okay. one. He Katrina. Went up, yeah, Katrina. Thank you. He went over there and just volunteered, you know, went over there, and the things he told me that he had to do, I was yeah. just like, it just blew my mind. I was like, I couldn't believe he did that, you know, and it was just crazy. But I'm the same way. I'm just like very patriotic and very yeah. like proud of anybody that, I mean, you know, knowing their time. that, you know, there's a whole other side to it right. and a whole lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Just like with, you know, being a former cop. Oh, yeah. I there's mean, good, bad and ugly. The, yeah, you know? I know. There's just a whole lot of crap. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, yeah. I mean, no, anytime somebody chooses to serve their country, no matter what you think of the country or your country, it, it, 
it's still a sacrifice. Absolutely. Hugely huge yeah. sacrifice. So, yeah. 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 Well, good for her. Yeah. That's I think cool. it'll, I do. I think it'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Good, good. Well, cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe next time Leslie will have more knitting to show. Well, I'll probably have the finished sweater for sure. Yes. And then hopefully I'll have my hat on. And I'd like to, you know, I, I don't want to start. <laughs> I say that and then I have this hat. But I don't really want to start any more projects. I feel like I need to finish. I need to finish, And it really finish, doesn't finish. matter. I didn't mean that, like, throwing you under the bus. Yeah. I just feel bad because I'm like. No, you're good. Blah, 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 you're blah, good. Blah, blah. No, I can still talk about knitting. I just, yeah. yeah. I just have been busy with other things. And yeah. this sweater's really taken my well, especially when everything you have to just because I feel like I want to get it done as yeah. soon as possible and it's been fun so it's been you know I've enjoyed doing it but um it's gonna be really but fun. yeah I don't I, I need to really I did go through and take pictures of all my knitting like you had said and I feel like I need to really just like I don't know like almost lay them all out and put an order to them like okay Leslie just tackle this sweater oh, okay, finish like the sleeves prioritize yes because okay. I feel like right now they're all in bags over by my knitting chair and I haven't looked at them in weeks yeah so I don't even like I could go back and look at my pictures but I feel like I need to really just like number them and say, okay, just focus on this one sweater. Yeah. Get it done. Well, especially if you're so close to I am. Done. I am. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And I was really hoping to finish all of those by the end of last year because I was like, you, you have a clean a slate, yeah. finish everything and start fresh in January. And so I feel like I'm just behind and I don't like that feeling of just having a ton of unfinished I projects. I really like just having three projects yeah. like I feel like that's max I think for three me. is the magic number yeah like have a pair of maybe socks maybe a shawl and maybe a sweater or something or just pick yeah, three some things combination of whatever yeah because I feel like having too many I just get overwhelmed and then I don't do anything yeah so I don't like that feeling either I don't either so and they're all great projects so it's like and then you done. get to that point in some of them where you're just like close to being done yeah. and then yeah you're just done yeah so mentally I'm kind of over a couple of them but I feel like no I, I just want to finish them just finish them well, when I got together with the girls on Monday, mm -hmm. Janine, I said something about how I just feel like I'm, like I'm done with the shawl. Yeah. Even yeah. though I really like yeah, it, yeah. and she was like, "Well, yeah, it's because you're almost done with it. That's just how we all feel." And yeah. that made me feel better to think, "Okay, yeah. yeah, this is just how most of us feel." You get anxious because you see the finish line, and you're like, especially if you like it enough, you can't wait to be able to wear it. Yeah. It's funny though. I yeah. mean, like, because some things I just really enjoy knitting. Yeah. Because we do knit because we enjoy it, right? right? I mean, right. that's the idea. Right. Well, it goes back to the whole process or product, you yeah. know, like, which some I am all about the process. And then when I get it finished, I don't love the product, Yeah. you know, but then some things I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to just wear this. I didn't enjoy so much knitting it, but I know that I'm going to love it when it's done. So... I think everybody's just different depending on the project and the yarn and yeah. needle size. What's going on in your yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, I think it yeah makes a difference for sure. Oh, I love hearing the birds chirp. Oh, makes me think it makes cute. me think like spring, spring is coming. Spring, yeah. Oh, well, oh. um isn't like February 2nd Groundhog Day or something? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. So we'll find out. We'll find out. Did, yeah. Did Puxafani, what's his name? <laughs> I have, I, it's, that sounds about Something right. Something Phil, right? Yeah, yeah. Remember that yeah, movie, yes. Groundhog Day? Oh, yes, Bill yes. Murray. That oh movie drove me nuts. Really? Like, just seeing it, I was just like, Ugh. Did it stress you out? Yeah. It was just like, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's. I like the movie, but it just, it, it just. You know what yeah. Bill Murray movie, I mean, these are old movies, but, mm -hmm. um. I just love What About Bob. Yes. <laughs> that movie. This is so I love funny. that movie. I, I love feel like that I need to watch But it that drives again. me crazy, too, at the same really? time. Because he stresses. I'm just like, oh, my gosh, he stresses me. I like, yeah. Really? Like, he would drive me crazy. Well, sure. Yes. I don't want him showing up at my house when I'm on vacation. <laughs> but I guess I felt those same emotions watching it. I was just oh. like, oh, my gosh. But he's funny. <laughs> so at the same time, you're, like, laughing. But you're like, oh, you annoy me. Like, of course, it's know. been so long since I've seen him. Yeah. I might not find him as funny as I yeah, used to. Yeah, true. I might be true. like, oh, my God, dude, you're really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Go <true>. away. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe. I mean, but maybe those, those old movies are the good ones, though. I don't of. make movies like that anymore. I watched... Um, the other day, I did a I did stuff like mm -hmm. outside work kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So then I and in the rain mm -hmm. and um. Then I went in and watched Half Blood Prince, mm -hmm. Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Like I Gosh, just I haven't watched picked one. one and I know, I know, yeah. I hadn't either. And it was like seeing old friends. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because I've read those books so many times, yeah. and I've I haven't watched the movies as many times, yeah. but. 
you know, I mean, you just you yeah. definitely feel like they're... I feel that way about Gilmore Girls. Like, anytime I put it on, I'm just like, oh, I remember the time in life when Bob and I would, like, stay up so late just watching Binge one watching. more... Yeah, watching <laughs> one more episode. Just one more. And, oh, my gosh, and the girls were little. We couldn't wait to get them to bed so we could oh. watch Gilmore Girls. <laughs> That's you know? how we were with The Wire. <laughs> yeah, and now the girls have all watched Gilmore Girls, and we're just... It's like... I used to watch them, like, all the time. And then I think it's been a couple of years since I've really, like, watched them. So now yeah. when I watch them, I'm like, oh. You know, it's like, yeah, it's like visiting an old yeah. friend, you know. Yeah. So good. So pathetic, our lives And are. I think Harry Potter just reminds us of our girls probably, too. You know? Yeah. Because so my girls loved Harry Potter. So I think it just, when I watch it. My like, kids oh. didn't like Harry Potter as much as I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really liked them. Okay. Um, I don't know why. I just yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's everything. I mean, it's the music. It's the scenery it's everything yeah it's just well done you know they yeah they were well done yeah and i was noticing a lot of the scenery because i've i've read them more recently than i've seen them okay and so then seeing them on screen with you know just the castles yeah. and the, just so everything cool. it, it's fun so cool. yeah yeah it's amazing awesome all righty well i guess we'll wrap it up i guess so yeah Ooh. See you guys a couple weeks. In a couple weeks, we'll try to be more. Oh, never mind. I was sick last week. Is that I what know, it was? I'm glad, no, y yes. Is that what and it was? I'm sorry. Yes. I'm glad you're feeling yes. better. Yes, yeah. I am. It wasn't a horrible cold. Like, uh, you know, I've had worse, but yeah. but it was definitely one. And of then the one day I was going to come down, but we had a sewer guy, a guy, oh, right. not sewer. I always say sewer because that's what I'm used to. Yeah. Septic. Oh, right. Um, a guy was coming to look at our septic thing. Mm -hmm. um, Isn't that a fun job? Yeah. They definitely don't get paid enough. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. He, uh, this guy was a talker. Was he? Oh, my gosh. Talked to it exhausted own. me. Wow. I mean, and he talked about so many things, like, about his daughter's dating. and I mean, yeah. like, really random stuff. Oh, and I'm just like, do I look friendly? Yeah. Do I look lonely? I mean, what's the deal? I'm That's standing funny. in the rain holding my chihuahua. Is he getting paid per hour? Is that why? This was a bid. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, God. Like, I'm not paying you by the hour, buddy, so um, um, hurry it up. I'm, that's I'm funny. I'm not interested. I'm, I'm actually kind of uncomfortable with everything yeah, you're telling that's me. that's funny. <laughs> you're a counselor. Yeah, I know. Just wanted to pour his heart out to you. <laughs> Just must have that look. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, whatever that's look funny. that is. Anyway. Um, All right, well, you guys, it was great to spend some time with you. Yes. And yes. definitely great to spend yes, time with you. Yes, I know. I feel like it's been forever. But now that I'm not working anymore. I know. And I was we thinking can we, can, we could totally be meeting totally. whenever. Yeah, that'd yeah. be awesome. We'll so. have to do that. For sure. So recording should be easier. Yeah. I mean, because I'm not working. Yeah. So it should be better. But. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. You guys Take have a care. Good, good February. Yes. Yes. Happy February. We'll first. see you in February yes, at some point. Yes, we will. Yeah. We will. Yeah. Maybe we'll have a little Valentine's Day. Oh, there you go. That'd be fun. That'd <laughs> <Right>. be fun. <laughs> Stupidest holiday ever. It is. It pretty is. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think Bob and I have gotten into more arguments on Valentine's Day than probably any other holiday. Really? Yeah, because he never liked Valentine's. And for a while I did. So then he wouldn't meet my expectation of what I expected because oh, he thought it was stupid. I agree. And then I'd be stupid. like, well, do you not love me then? Because you're not like, doing this. <laughs> of course I love you, but I just don't oh. like this. Are you too cheap? Is that why? Like, you know, it just causes all kinds of arguments. So to me, I don't look forward to. Oh, funny. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, I so, brought it up. Yeah. It's sore subject. A hot no. <laughs> but now I don't care anymore. I mean. It's, it's a triggering. It's it a tri yes. 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 <laughs> Sets me off. But no, it's fine. I don't really care for Valentine's Day anymore either. So yeah, it's okay, kind of good. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she talked herself up, talked herself down. We're back on an even keel now. <laughs> right? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> okay, we're Damn back. Up. We're back again. Yes. Sorry. It just occurred to me as I was packing up stuff that we didn't announce our winner mm -hmm. from. So pretty. Kingdom mm -hmm. Fleece and Fiber Works. I have mm -hmm. to read it because you know I'd mess up the oh, name completely. otherwise. Me too. But uh, I decided to keep the blue spruce. Mm -hmm. And you kept, have you changed your mind or have you even thought about it since then? <laughs> I haven't thought about it. I'd have to go look. Okay. But I don't think so. But you didn't like think, oh, I wish I'd chose a different one. Well, I mean, now that I look at this one, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. But they're all amazing. So okay, well, you're gonna get your choice, but we're not sure what you're choosing between okay. yet. So because okay. if you want to swap something out, okay. that's fine. But it was number eighty, Melinda mm -hmm. Fairy Yarn Mom. Mm -hmm. um, God, 
your hook is stuck on there. I've got all sorts of things going on. Anyway, let us know what whether you want rusty truck, mm -hmm. forest floor, the one the other one that we think Leslie might have taken, or mm -hmm. I suppose if you really want blue spruce. I think I'm keeping that though. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean I like mine. Because I, I really like this one too. I know, so I know. I don't know. They're all amazing. I mean that's the thing, you can't go wrong and they're all beautiful. You really so I'll just can't. stick with what I have. So just Okay, yeah, you're so Melinda, those two. just let us know what you really want. <laughs> I mean yeah. out of <laughs> Or the blue for spruce. Whatever. Know. Just Melinda contact me. Okay, <laughs> we'll we'll talk. We'll work this out. We'll compromise. Congrats, you won. Yes. And then the other the other one, whichever the other one is going to be, will be a prize for the Abby. Nice. Knits, Abby knit along. Awesome. So. Awesome. Okay. Fun. All right. Bye. We're done again. <laughs>